Yes. Guys, welcome to another fun Monday night. Uh, welcome to Kel Tony. I'm Tony Hinchcliffe. This is Brian Redband, everybody. Put your hands together. We're all one big happy family tonight. Keep it going for the great Pat Reagan on the ones and twos. Yeah. And Ryan J. Ebelt, the house artist, who's going to draw a picture. He's got a blank sheet of paper right now, and he draws every single episode. He's starting drawing tonight's episode right now. Who knows where it'll end up? Ryan J. Ebelt. This is the Kill Tony family, guys. Welcome, everybody. It's a fun little Monday night. There's still, for some reason, a couple, there's like an open patch on this side. If anybody slammed up in that upper deck wants to take a seat. It's like a fire hazard here, but for some reason there's empty tables. So but but the shy Figure people. Look at yeah. all the shy people. Figure it out, people. Anyway, um, welcome to the show. We have hundreds and hundreds on Periscope and the thousands on Ustream watching live right now, as they do yeah. every single Monday night. And you're their live audience. You're their voice. So fucking let it rip tonight. Will you, live audience? And for those of you that are watching the stream and listening live on the podcast, just know that we're announcing right now that Sunday, November 29th, and Friday, November 27th, <laughs> look at that, backwards, backwards, backwards promoting, 29th and the 27th of November, Death Squad's coming home to the great state of Ohio, everybody. Uh, we are, yeah. it's our first time going in a couple years. Yeah, Friday, November 27th, we'll be in Pittsburgh. Ohio uh, will be there Sunday, November 29th, the day after the Ohio State-Michigan game. And big announcement, Kill Tony, that we're bringing Kill Tony to both of those cities before right. the shows. Kill Tony, live. There's the music for you, <laughs> if you didn't believe it. So it's double shows. We do an episode of Kill Tony. And uh, then we do stand-up comedy. That's two separate shows, but you can buy a combo and go to both fucking shows. Yeah. So it's great for all the... Take it to one or the other. Yeah, it's great for all the comics in Ohio and Pittsburgh that always want to be on Kill Tony. And we're coming to you. Yeah, so that's going to happen. I'm also going to Portland and Atlanta and Nashville, San Francisco and Sacramento. So look for those dates. They're somewhere. Find those. Anyway. Yeah. Back to the show. This is going to be so much fun. Pat Reagan, you're back with us. We're done promoting our dates. How are you doing? I'm doing good, man. I love it. Is that mic on? Choo, choo. Yeah, I'm doing good. I feel like a solar panel in Joshua Tree. How was the pre-show music tonight? It was good. It was good. I just played straight songs. I didn't talk. Straight songs? Yeah. Really? Yeah. In that shirt? <laughs> Guys. Are you saying that my songs have homoerotic undertones? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your, all your songs are about fucking some guy, Greg's dad. Yeah. yeah. At some point, I notice that always pops up. It's that all. It's that all boy Catholic school upbringing. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Guys, Pat's on the ones and twos all night. He's the band leader. We're locked in every single week. I have two of my funniest friends and two of the best comedians in the world on this show. You've seen everybody on this show, and if you've watched every episode. You've seen these two guys before as well. Monsters, two of my favorite people in the world. You know them from ABC's Mixologies, upcoming showtimes. I'm dying up here. Many unbelievable fucking commercials. So, such funny guys. And they're back. Put your hands together for the great Andrew Santino and Sandro Yocalano. Woo! Oh, yeah. Hell Hello. Yeah. Welcome back. Yes. Good Italian boys. That's what's happening up here tonight. It's a very... Very Italian names. Santino. Yeah, hello. Dude. How's Hi. it going? Good. Right. I didn't find anything homoerotic about your stuff. It sounded pretty normal and clean to me. I liked Thanks, all of it. Yeah. yeah. I related to a good portion of it. It's, it's genuine. That's all. You that fucked sense. a guy named Greg's dad before. Uh, yeah, Mark. Greg's dad, Mark. Is that true? It's named Jeff. Greg's Jeff? dad is Jeff. And yeah. then Greg's grandpa is Chad. I'm writing Chad. some more songs about Greg's grandpa. Does somebody fuck In the Chad? works. I fuck Chad. Wow. You I get to do. fuck all of them. <laughs> yeah, and Chad loves it. eating butt. That's his thing. Mm. Just in the works, guys. If he's a grandpa, he's probably one of the original Chads. Yeah. He's <laughs> yeah, one of the first people ever. I'm just saying. It's like a, it seems like a fairly new name. Uh, Sandro, what the hell's up, buddy? Not much. Just uh, I woke up, decided to come down. Fuck yeah. Look, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's exactly what it looks like. True. Yeah, I got, I'm awake, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Well, you guys have done this show. Uh, audience, welcome. Pat, do you have any questions for tonight's guests? Anything you I didn't know? prepare anything yeah. tonight. I didn't we didn't prepare either. Any questions. Yes. <laughs> so we're, it's even. You didn't prepare anything? You've, have you ever prepared anything? Yeah, wait, wait, you prepared those in the past? Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I've written questions down. I've emailed them to myself. Really? Like, yeah, the email the subject line KT questions. Okie dokie. Uh, <laughs> you know, you know. I think we could probably it's easily like mimic his normal questions of the week pretty easily, Tony. It's, it is pretty simple, right? Like, Here. what's your favorite salad dressing? Uh, and did you ever looked at yourself while going poop, and then I looked in your your mirror of your father, and then you felt yourself, and then you okay, went on. I don't think I, well, I have a question. I have a serious question. Jesus. Okay, there's some right. up hatred going on it, in between me and Pat. Reagan in order right to now. be a, in order to be a successful comedian, do you have to do you have to, do people have to want to be around you off stage as well as on? I think it makes it easier, uh, so you don't drive people away with your terrible personality. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. But I don't know. I've never, I've never talked to anybody off stage. Although there's a lot of people that are. <laughs> <laughs> and what was it? Successful comedian? Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's what. I guess that works. Yeah, I don't yeah, think. I don't know. I don't. Maybe. I mean, kind of. There's a lot of guys that are successful that are shitheads off stage. Oh yeah. Yeah. Tons of them. So I guess no, not really. Why is that the plan? I'm just thinking. I'm like, I'm like, I don't, I don't connect with people like, uh, like, interactively enough. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm gonna s s move away from performing and just like make a, music like and try to like make Asperger's, stuff. Like Asperger's, like social, social anxiety. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. I was just wondering what what you guys were thinking about that. It's not specific to you. Guys, you? I've been waiting for a long time to get rid of the question part of this show. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it stalls the front end of the back end, and tonight, it's funny, because I sort of just wanted to bail out on it a couple weeks ago, but I, I, I say just we wanted do to it give again. it one more chance. I, I like bailing out of uh, the questions. For, so from now on, now we know why there's no more questions for the guests, because every show does that, and it gets just slow, no matter what. Yeah. So we're not doing that anymore. So congratulations. By the way, this is Kill Tony, episode 127. You're watching the beginning of right now. And in 127, 124 of those episodes, uh, we asked the guests a question. The, whoever the side mic person was would ask the guests a question. You were the last audience ever to see that be part of the show. Congratulations. Wow. That's it. The retirement of the pre-show questions. Uh, so let's just get into the actual show. Every single week, uh, over 50 comedians sign up for the chance to get pulled out of this bucket. Everybody is on a different piece of paper. And uh, if you sign up and you, I pull your name out of the bucket, you get 60 seconds on stage of stand-up to do. And then we talk to you. You're then interviewed. And then you're on the show. Get it? <laughs> Comedians, you know your 60 seconds is up when you hear the sound of a kitty. All right, that is not, that is not a cat. Who shot the cat? That's the sound that you hear. Don't go over your time or else you're gonna bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. All right, all right, there was a, a bear and a cock. <laughs> All right, so let's get it started, shall we? I pulled the first name out of the bucket, doing 60 seconds tonight, and then talking with our esteemed panel. Yeah. Put your hands together for Jay Ruby. Hi, hey, hi, guys. Hey, I, I was a teacher for a lot of years, and. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I was a teacher for a lot of years, and uh, it, you have to teach this um, self-esteem curriculum. You know, it's a lot of, you can do it, you know, don't give up, keep with it. So I quit. <laughs> I, I quit because I wanted to see if I could, you know, I wanted to pursue comedy. I wanted to see if I could make less money, which <laughs> I'm doing, I'm a success. Um, success is really easy, though, if you just set the bar real low. <laughs> That's what I learned from teaching self-esteem. Um, but uh, the kids, the kids were great, um, and they were good kids. I mean, technically the gangbangers would be called bad kids, but most of the kids, they were good kids. Um, they just weren't successful in the regular high school setting, um, you know, because they didn't show up. Um, but, but the kids that did show up, they, they just had a hard time concentrating because uh, they were just doing drugs, you know. Um, but. <laughs> That's you it. You can finish it if you want. Uh, it goes for a while. <laughs> oh, shit. 
Uh, last joke. All right, here we go. Uh, whoa, I, whoa, whoa. You don't need to do that. Wait, 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 wait. So you you don't get it. to decide. No, that's not how it works. You, you made the bear angry. Oh, my That's bad. why it's an angry bear, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you got to commit to one or the other. Uh, you sidestep there. Um, Jay, I like your style. You look like Dexter's stepfather. Um, awesome. How long have you been doing stand-up? Um, I've been doing it for a couple months. A couple months. I, yeah. I, got like on, I got on stage a year ago and was successful and then bombed and got terrified and came back a year later. Hell yeah. Seems like it. Uh, <laughs> I like that creepy laugh you have, Chad. <laughs> Stayed right in the microphone yeah, for I've, that one. I've been, I've been told I have a Disney villain laugh. Not a scary villain laugh, just a Disney villain laugh. It's huh. a little scary. It's a little scary. Yeah. All right. It's a little scary. <laughs> I mean, it's good, but it's a little scary. How long have you been teaching for? Uh, I got my credential in 92. And you still teach? No, I actually did quit last year. Wow, that's incredible. For, for comedy? Well, and acting. Okay. I t I, I'm substitute teaching. Got it. Uh-huh. Uh, what's your specialty? In acting? Teaching. In teaching? Yeah. <laughs> no, what is it in acting first? <laughs> what's the specialty in uh, I, I mean, I'm just going for film and television. Method? Uh, no, Meisner. Meisner. <laughs> I don't know it. <laughs> Good reaction, though. Uh, Jay, <laughs> like, what's your specialty in school? I started out teaching English, and then I did world history and economics. And so now, how do you? How are you making money? Substitute teaching. And you're doing that a lot. Uh, hopefully more. <laughs> how does that really work? Do you get like a lot of calls the day of? Yeah. They, well, LA they need teachers, so. Right. It's always day of. Yeah. yeah. Which is that's why you do subbing is because you your favorite, don't have to work uh, any day what's you don't your, want to work. What's your favorite area in Los Angeles to substitute teach in? Um. I don't really have a favorite area. I guess well, whatever's let, close let, and let convenient. Let me be more specific, Jay. Uh, what's your favorite race? <laughs> that's, a, that's a good question. Say white. Um, Say I've actually white. taught a lot of continuation school, so I, I like diversity. It's more, I the the rich white kids actually are harder, I think, to deal with. Wow, I fucking like that. That means a lot coming from a guy that looks like a college football coach. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Jay, where are you from? Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz. What part? What is that? That's like South San It's Francisco? just south of San Francisco, yeah. yeah. It's north. Oh, I taught in San Francisco most of the time. I, I moved there in 96. Mm -hmm. He's a Stewart vibe. He feels like Stewart. Yeah. 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 yeah, he's about like as Stewart. white as it gets. Jimmy yeah. Stewart? Uh, just no, Stewart. Yeah. 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 Kind of sound like Jimmy Stewart, say. Yeah. You have all the flavor yeah. of a glass of water. <laughs> uh, <laughs> What's that stuff that you put in Do you wear boat shoes on the weekend? Do you wear boat shoes on the weekend? I even wear them sometimes on weekdays. Right. Whoa, yeah. nailed it. Risky. Sancho Yocolano, look out for him. He's the fucking assassin. Got the nautical vibe. Where's it at? There it is, the Sancho Yocolano horn. Look out. <laughs> Get ready for more of that. He sits on it, and then he fucking gets it. Uh-oh, round one. Um, <laughs> Jay, what's your favorite thing to do for fun that's not stand-up? And uh, like, What are your hobbies? Um, surfing. When I get a chance. Yeah. What else? Um, I don't know. Hanging out with my friends. Fight club. Yeah. What's the secret? Yeah, I, I'm, 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 I'm with you on there's this. There's something. There's like <laughs> Pat, I'm fucking with you on no, this. Right. Like, there's <laughs> definitely <laughs> something that you, I can picture you sneaking off to every night. Like, no, there's not. Some period I don't, I don't like, have it every night. But my my uh, my buddy's a tattoo artist, and uh -oh, I got Here we go. That's always where the entrance to whatever shady shit is going on in oh, the yeah. bathroom. Oh, yeah. Only business. Am I right? Well, yeah, tattoo parlors yeah. definitely often are. Right. The and you don't even a lot have of any shady tattoos. Shit. You're and I have one. I have a shoulder oh. cap. Okay, gotcha. What is it? It's uh, abstract. It's a pit. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> that sounds about right. It's a, it's a tattoo. Even with the tattoo, even his tattoo is white. Uh, what is that? I it's a tattoo that. of a... It's some, it's, uh, abstract What do you tattoo. think it is? It's is a, a Prince a Albert it's tattooed on his arm. <laughs> what, what do you see? That's a, Jesus. It's, it's a cresting wave Tried with a moon. Tried four times to get that out. A, a dolphin's penis Whoa. on it. A cresting wave with a moon and a dolphin's penis. penis. Yeah, right? Yeah, I call this my tattoo Rorschach test. Oh. Jesus. So that says a lot Does about you. Does know what you're talking about? They don't know. Yeah, people don't what, know. What you're seeing it is is tells me something about you. Oh, well, what do you see? What do you see? I know a lot about you, all right, okay. Jay. I watched right. your 60 <laughs> second set. Okay, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> don't judge it, me. Oh, I know a lot about no, you. No, really, it's just an abstract. <laughs> about my emotional <laughs> tattoo. <Yeah. laughs> 
I feel like that's a cheap way because you didn't get it finished, and you're like, what do you think it is? I feel like that's <laughs> <laughs> right. What could it have been if I had enough money? Yeah. <laughs> Material-wise, what did you guys say? I, I just don't really remember too much from it. Um, um, the... I. Th- the yeah, write what you know thing is applicable, I guess. You what you know about teaching. I would be more interested to find out what your life is like now that you don't have that anymore in your life. You know, like it's more interesting to find out. Like everybody, there's a lot of teachers that do stand up or stand ups that do substituting, and we've mm-hmm. heard it before, which doesn't make it bad. It just, I would rather hear what your day is like now that you no longer teach. That's more interesting. And we got off on a tangent there, and uh, I we never really got to what's happening in the tattoo parlor. What are yeah. you going there for? You only <laughs> have that one boring tattoo, so what are you doing late at night? Um, yeah, just a lot of interesting people come in there. So it's just... You just hang sit, out, sit and talk. Yeah, hang like, out like, and talk. He, and, like yeah. cocaine dealers, Jay uh, no. Ruby? <laughs> Is this the thing? <laughs> who, who comes and hangs out in tattoos? A lot of interesting people come in there, like the school superintendent <laughs> and <laughs> other teachers. I just imagine, like, what if it's just the most boring tattoo parlor? And it's all just like Anderson Cooper yeah. type, yeah. type guys. <laughs> yeah, pr- I don't know why, but that's fitting. You don't, uh, you don't do drugs or drink or anything, right? No. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. So that. <laughs> that's why yeah. I want, that's why we're interested to know what goes on in the off uh, off hours. Like, what yeah. when you get home late at night and you're up, what's what do you do? I. <laughs> how do you indulge? What do you like? What do I, how do I indulge? You don't drink. You don't smoke. What do you do? Yeah. What's your yeah. What's the thing that you're like? Fuck. I wish I don't. I wish I didn't have that hooker vice or whatever it is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> or you do, or you love it. Yeah. Not. No vice. I, I don't. Yeah. I can't think of a. Something's missing, brother. You watch Miami Vice. I feel, I feel like you got a secret and you want to tell us. You want to tell us? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you look at, yeah, I don't are you know. ma- no married, no kids, no. Oh no no. Oh, okay. okay. There you go. You go down that right. road. So I, I I have a bit about that. I have two kids <laughs> with okay. different moms. Different moms. Yeah. Nice. Whoa! Oh. We got it. Here we go. We got it. Here we go. <laughs> I got a whole. Yeah. Bit about yeah. that. <laughs> um. All right. Now we're playing with fire. Do your kids work at the tattoo shop? Is that what's happening? Mm. Uh, actually, one of my sons twenty is training to be a tattoo artist. Yeah. All right, well, jeez, we, we have we, to drag yeah. it out of you. Yeah, we had to pull all the pieces <laughs> together. Yeah. So two different women, and it's are they near the same time? Were you cheating on one of them? No, nah, thirteen years apart. Thirteen years oh. apart. Wait, are they, well, what? Wait, how old are you? Yeah. You seem to look pretty young. Like yeah. was one thirteen and one twenty six, or <laughs> no, one's twenty and one's <laughs> seven. <laughs> There's that creepy nah. laugh again. <laughs> Be, be on the lookout for that. I feel like you Jay might Ruby be in the line. Illuminati. Like, you know, there's something yeah. going on. <laughs> right? He's, like, good looking. You're 108, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> According to the math, you're a thousand years old. You have a 13-year-old gap. Are they both white women? Yeah, I was just going to ask. No. What, what yes, if- go on. Yep. <laughs> my, first, my first kid's mom is Jewish. I'm half Jewish. That doesn't count. We don't okay. count them. Yeah, we don't Second. count them. <laughs> yeah, we don't believe in them yeah. here at Kill Tony. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what's, the, what's, the, what's the good one? <laughs> normal. So Tony's Jews aren't good. What's James, the other one? Uh, Brazilian. Uh, Whoa! Nice. Oh, little fucking <laughs> sweet culture. <laughs> Nice. Fuck yeah, there it is. Nice. What's the Jewish kid's name? Ari. No, nah, Harris. Harris? Yeah. And what's the Brazilian kid's name? Anthony. Uh, Antonio. Antonio. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to have you play that all night. I love Fuck that. yeah. I love that. It's so great. I you're, think the only thing we found out is that you're, there's so much ambiguity to your life. We don't. I'm trying to still find out what the secret is, but... We'll have to inspect, you know, yeah. we'll have to we'll have to go out off stage and What do the two women have in common that you have two different kids with? Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it needed something. There it was. Uh, that's like CGI right there. All right, how about this? Have you ever when you were teaching uh, and how old were they? The students? Yeah. High school, uh, juniors and seniors. Seniors, was there ever a time that you no fill in the blank? No, <laughs> never, never filled in the blank. Well, I mean, there are seniors who are eighteen years old. Yeah, so they're legal. no, okay. So <laughs> here it goes. Yeah. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Story. So, so she's sucking yeah. my dick in this stuff. No, 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 no. <laughs> nothing yeah. like that. 
You um, have a five-year-old with a 22-year-old. Tell the truth. Yes, tell the truth. So tell us what happened with the student. So no, 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 nothing ever happened. Right. With the so you're coaching um, her in volleyball and you're teaching her how to serve. Next thing you know, she's pregnant. Right. Right. How does it go? You both went to Subway. No. <laughs> um, All right. Tell us what it. Tell us what it is. I gotta know. No way. So. Could have been quiz notes. Yeah. Still. No, the, the, no it's not, nothing like that. It's not that exciting. So I don't know what uh, to okay, say. Okay. Good. Good. But did you know other teachers that fucked students? No. Nope. Nobody? No. No way, dude. Wow. Get the fuck out of here. We know that that's... <laughs> know, by know. the way, that's totally not true. They all just okay. had this brotherly so here, oath. Yes, I, right. I taught at a continuation school, so it was seven teachers. Seven teachers. Yeah, so it wasn't like a big pool Who of teachers coaches, to get the... Yeah, girls, so no phys no, ed. No coach. Right, so. No phys ed. Right, no phys ed. Phys ed's always the go-to. Was there no gym class? No. Yeah, we all, no. all... All us boys got molested in the third grade by yes. the gym teacher. Oh, it's yes. normal back then. Totally normal. Yeah. The good ones anyways. <laughs> now they throw a, make a big fucking deal out yeah. of it. Yeah, like Snapchat and shit. Yeah, we do the... We do the uh, we do that. We do that parachute thing, the multicolored parachute. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. Flip it up, and then they all run up, and the teachers and students would fuck yeah. under there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Collect. Hold the it comp. down. Hold it down on the corners. <laughs> These kids live with their moms. Uh, yeah. No, not the twenty-year-old healers thing. Oh, you okay. got a twenty-year-old boy. Yeah, they're Holy. both boys. Holy shit, that's amazing. How Is old he? are you? Forty-eight. Nice, you look good for 48, yeah. man. Give it up for 48. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. So the, the 20 this is year what old hanging out at tattoo shops does for your skin, guys. Yeah. yeah. Does the 20 year old bring home girls? Uh, no. No? Well, okay, for himself, yeah. <laughs> oh, not for you, not for you. Obviously, that's what we're asking. I wasn't sure what you meant there. No, well, you, you, you knew what I, what I yeah. thought. Yeah, you went right for it. Um, yeah, does he so ever hang out with you at the tattoo parlor? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. I like that. <laughs> Two I like in the this ink, guy. one in the... All right, guys. Uh, what's the coolest thing that you've seen in a tattoo parlor? Besides yourself, obviously. <laughs> uh, Jay, did you just break? Whoa, what yeah. happened there? See, yeah, sorry. This I is where his skin falls coolest. off and he's just an angry robot. <laughs> uh, that wacky Mr. Ruby got us again. Um... Do they, they call you Mr. Ruby, right? Yeah, Mr. Ruby. Holy right. shit. Do you have any like little joke that you say when you have the class? Like, hey, I'm Mr. Ruby, like Dorothy Slippers or anything like that? No, hell no. <laughs> Rub me, Ruby. <laughs> oh, you say hell no like I'd make a bad teacher or something right. like that. Like, <laughs> fuck no, we don't even do that, bro. Piece What's the go-to line when you substitute? <laughs> My go-to line? Yeah, like, because you got into comedy. Like, I'm sure you cho told jokes to students. Is that what you yeah. did when you were? So what was like Come your go-to joke in class? Yeah, yeah. it's like no, a free no, open no. mic. So, I, no, I, I mean, I goof around with the kids, but it's always just oh, improv at the moment. Yeah. It's not the boow, boow. <laughs> 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 um, what do you mean by goof around with the kids? Yeah. Like, do they whatever. call you Reach Around Ruby? <laughs> <laughs> I know I would. <laughs> They're going to if any of them listen to podcasts after yes. this. Hey, aren't you reach around, Ruby? I listen to Kill Tony. Reach around! What's up? <laughs> it's so much. <laughs> well, good stuff. I yeah. think write some more stuff of what you do. And you, I don't, we don't. We, we're trying to really find. We really dug as deep as we could fucking yeah. dig. Yeah. I don't know. There's got to be something else that you do that's unlike the guy that we see on stage. Okay. You know, just like, go for contrast, like a bit. No, dude, you don't have to lie. Just give us the, no, 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 the truth not, that you're no. embarrassed about. You yeah. know what okay, I mean? Let me yeah, ask yeah. you this. You have a you have a, a kid with a Jewish woman, a kid with a Brazilian mm -hmm. woman. What 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 type of woman do you find yourself most attracted to now? Are we talking about maybe fucking Oh my girlfriend's black. Well, Your what? girlfriend's black. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> That's where I was getting at. The black lady loves that. Uh <laughs> so you went from Jewish went church to Brazilian to black to what's next? Yeah, what's in the future? Yeah, yeah. what do we got? Uh, <laughs> perhaps uh, green or <laughs> yeah. Simpsons yellow. Good idea. <laughs> are you into any? Are you into any kind of weird sexual shit? Do you like like weird? Fuck do you yeah, like anime look at or like anything? Look at that smile! Yeah, I can <laughs> look at that smile. Giggly. He can barely hide his gimp mask right now. <laughs> fucking. Are you a furry? What do you like to no, do? I was, I was, wondering, I was oh. waiting for that question to come out. No, no, no. No, afraid. nothing like that. What's your favorite position? Like when he's on top, what's your favorite position? <laughs> Stop it. What's your favorite position sexually? Um, I don't know. It depends on the girl, really. Well, how about with the girl that you're with right now? Yeah. She um, has all of her legs and arms. You like what's that? You she like, has you all like, of her legs and arms. You like being on bottom with the black girl. 
right? No, no. No, he likes hot like chocolate. She, well, I mean, you want to like choke fantasy or anything like that? No. Nothing. I got to fucking, we got to find something out yeah. about this guy. That's. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. You pay your taxes. You don't have, you have good credit. There's nothing <laughs> fucked up in your life. I don't have great your credit. Your parents were I'm always there? Were your parents always there? Uh, Yeah. I mean, you, together. Let me ask you this. God damn it. A question. A question. No holes in this guy. <laughs> <laughs> when you're <laughs> masturbating, how long do you let yourself hang in the noose? Wow. Like, <laughs> uh, that's, know, that's, a that's a good question. question. Yes. That's a good question. What's, a good question? What's your cutoff time? Is it like go, seven go seconds? Till like the end. 20? Or yeah. are you like all the way, like Robin Williams or something? Or, you like, oh, oh my or no, shut David, up. Jesus David Christ. Carradine He's is sick. actually. Robin wasn't jacking off. David Carradine was. Yes, guys. Yeah. Sorry yeah. about yeah. that. Yeah. Correction. Sorry, Robin. <laughs> Fuck. Now I'm going to have bad <laughs> dreams. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Jay, we spent way too much time with you. It was so fun to meet you, though. Jay, uh, good to meet you. Thank you, thank you very much. Good. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Jay Ruby. Couple months in the stand-up, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, we know every. We're all practically related to Jay Ruby now. Oh, you know what I wanted to say to Jay? <laughs> Jay? 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 Brian right over here. Jay, you said you were gonna. You said you you bombed and then you quit, right? D don't quit just because you bomb. Just keep bombing and yeah, don't do that again. Yeah, you just gotta keep going. Back. Always record your sets and listen to them. Also, yeah, helps out. Yeah. And just hang out, you know, around spot places where you can do spots. We didn't yeah. make any school shit. When, when, when people miss their when people miss their set and actual stand-up shows, sometimes you, they need a substitute, and who better than fucking you, Jay Ruby? That's yeah. right. Give it up for Reach Around Ruby. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There he is. Fuck yeah. If that's not his first stand-up album, I'll be so disappointed. <laughs> Reach around Ruby the sub. Buy tickets for his uh, next show at subhub.com, everybody. Subhub. <laughs> I, don't I don't know why I say these things. He's on Twitter at JRuby. That's pretty simple, right? Sounds like the kind of guy that would assassinate somebody. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, Mr. Mr. Ruby sounds like an ABC like murder show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The her, yeah, I can picture that. Pulled another name out of the bucket. It's Darren. Darren, maybe Darren Davis. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. I believe some words deserve another word behind it to give a certain ring. Like the word champagne. I think the word bitch deserves to be behind the word champagne. Like, you want some more champagne, bitch? <laughs> Pass me some more champagne, bitch. Champagne, bitch, underneath the cupboard. Appreciate it. I'm kind of sad that Obama's leaving office so soon. They're always talking about how black he was. But I don't think Obama did anything too black. I think the blackest thing Obama could do is not pay America's bills on time. China ain't getting shit. America's dead is in my kids' names, man. Straight up. <laughs> And that's some time, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it's on that. 59 seconds. I love that. <laughs> Darren, am, am I saying that right? Darren? Yeah. Fuck yeah, man. This is your first time on the show, right? Yes. Very funny. Very cool. Where are you from? Thank you. I'm from the Valley. Nice. How long have you been on stand-up? A year now. So cool. Thanks. Fuck yeah. Uh, I like your style. What did you talk about again? I completely <laughs> fucking forget. <laughs> yeah, that, that, the joke of being like not paying the time. Uh, Bills on time. It was yeah. brilliant. Yeah, that was a, and not paying China. That was yeah. great, man. That's good, so right? So funny. Thank you. Thank you. And you're you. already Appreciate doing that. it in your voice and everything. That's so fun. <laughs> do a lot of spots. Yeah, I just do stand up. I mean, it's like great. open mics and stuff all night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's basically what I do. You go to fun school with it. You have like a crew. Uh, I got like I meet a lot of people and we just end up being friends at the end of the night. Oh, you so, said you're going to school. Where at? Uh, L.A. Valley College. Nice. What are you yeah. studying? I'm studying English. You speak so well. What are you going to do with that? You're gonna <laughs> you you want to end up like fucking Jay Ruby, substitute teaching or something like that? I have a job before summer at least. Fuck it. I love it. <laughs> but, uh, that's cool as hell. Uh, did you say the valley? Yeah. What part? Narlita. It's the East Valley, Northeast Valley. Well, 
never even heard of that. Yeah, it's a little small town. It's like right next to Pacoima. It seems like the kind of place where I can pi I picture like a lot of police chases happening. Yeah, Rodney King got beat up like maybe five miles up the street on Foothill Fucking Boulevard. Fucking nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking nailed it. A lot of you got judgy on that one. Everybody's just like, what does he mean? And then, boom. Bam. Was it, what was the name of the town? Arlita. And it's right? what's the closest town? Can you picture town? it in the bottom it's of next the street? Police like, chase Arlita. <laughs> Lakeview Terrace, like Pacoima, Panorama City. This is like naming every town I've never heard of. Yeah, yeah. You, know? This is impressive. you know all the ones that you've never seen. It's far, it's just far Bears north Bale. by the hills, like up, up in the valley by the mountains up yeah, there. Yeah, like near Sun Valley. Okay, yeah, deep. Yeah, yeah, it's over by Morazville. Lower Canyon <laughs> Boulevard. <laughs> dog, do you know dog Morazville? town. It's by Dog Town. Is it by Stevens Town? It's, 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 oh, it's it's a little east. East, east of Stevens Town. You're thinking of Billings. Clarksville. Oh, Billings, and Montana. Yeah. Thinking of uh, <laughs> other than stand up, what do you like to do for fun? Uh, I like to turn up, have fun. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Does it get any better than that? No, it that's does. It. That's no, it that's does. It. Air conditioning. The only thing that would have been better is it coming out of Jay Ruby's mouth. Like I would, I would have just. That would have been the end of the episode if that happened. If he turns it down. Well, I'm going to a uh, 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 simple answer. There. I turn up at uh, an evening time. Excuse me, Duran. Could you turn down just a bit? <laughs> well, it was very funny. Dude. What's your What's your What's your type of turn up? Okay, um, whatever I could do, you know, like. Oof. Go that's, to people. That's what's fun, though. Yeah. I, that's what I want to know about. What is whatever you can do? That sounds um, like a blast. You know, since I'm, my name is Darren Davis, it's mm -hmm. kind of common. People think that I'm someone else sometimes that has a simple last name. So I take people's reservations at like. <laughs> <laughs> that's turning up. <laughs> yeah. Do you talk about this on stage? Uh, sometimes. It's it amazing. depends what I want to do. Yeah. Is, that, is reservation stealing what kids are referring to when they say turned up? <laughs> yeah. That? Well. If it's a nice like spot where there's like a big ass, <laughs> yo, if I'm at Fleming's, <laughs> that's what's so funny is that the when I one hit up the palm and shit. You know I turn up and steal yeah, some yep. fucking tables. So now <laughs> I know. Now I know. Next time I'm at a club, the the one person who's just yelling champagne bitch probably isn't even the person who was on the reservation. Yeah, just someone that's turning up. I mean, that's a really aggressive move to make uh, while sneaking under somebody else's name. What would you do if another Darren Davis showed up? Just go fucking Fight face him. to face. That's yeah. how those fights at the club probably happen, right? They do. <laughs> same last names. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Same People last name. People get fun. You got the same last name I do, and then they start punching each other. Straight up. Do you, live, up, do you live with the family up there? Yeah. Yeah. How long yeah. does it take you to get down here? Um, well, on bus, it's like an hour, but like wow. if I get... A car ride is like 30 minutes without traffic. Depends on. But traffic. how often do you take the bus? You take the bus almost yeah, every day oh, down here. Yeah, man, I ain't got no car. You're a trooper. You're gonna be a great stand-up. How old are you? I'm 25. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Been doing it a year. You're on a great path. Yeah, you're very, 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 very funny stuff. Uh, I absolutely love that Obama joke. <laughs> and you know, there was some. I like where you were at with the champagne bitch. And I think when you tagged it a couple, I think you sort of lo you have tags there that sort of lose momentum where. You could just fly right into the next thing or add other stuff to the back end of the champagne bitch. Where did that come from, the champagne uh, bitch? I don't know. I like saying bitch a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, sounds right. What are some of your favorite uses of it, like favorite times of the day where you use it? Um, so like bitch boy, bitch maid. <laughs> Whoa, I don't even know what that is. That sounds like some kind of wacky hashtag. You're a bitch Has boy. <laughs> hey, wait. <laughs> wait a second. Wait, wait, did you just try to save that by tickling me? Yes, that's how you do it. No. That's a bold move. No, that is not an option. <laughs> no, but that's there is no there is no I messed up. No, let me tickle you back. No. <laughs> Brian. 124 episodes and you're gonna try that shit? All of a sudden? I, I always tickle you. No, that that's I think what What do you mean you always tickle me? What does that mean? That's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Deeper into the rabbit No, but bitch boys, so. like, it would be listed as me or, like, Tony or, like, people that are just, like, smaller, little, like, like I'm a man-child. So they, people are like, oh, look at that bitch boy, you is know? That like, it, is that what it's in reference to for you? Uh, I don't know. Anyone that's acting like a bitch, I just, like, say word. bitch and then throw in that word, like, yeah, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And then what did you say the second one was? Bitch what? Uh, bitch made. Bitch made? Like, yeah. you bitch made, like, you're soft as fuck? Is yeah, you just that made is? that way. <laughs> Yo, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. You came from, soft. From the birth. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, what else? Give me more of this stuff. I'm into this. Yeah. You get some paper. By the way, I, I might hang out with Jay Ruby and get one of these things tattooed on me tonight. Uh, <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> don't get. Uh, yeah, no, I'm serious, Brian. I'm gonna get bitch boy tattooed on me. <laughs> I can see it right above your. 
Never mind. Give a life <laughs> advice. Don't actually do that. Give Toby. everyone of the us guy a that bitch, just and a bitch the guy that just name. tickled me. Yeah, give all of us one of the yeah. bitch tag names, like a bitch thing. But to do that. Um, all right, uh, this guy. <laughs> he's he's curly bitch. Am I right? Like, yeah. what is it? He has a bitch smile. <laughs> <laughs> I take that's a compliment. I take that as a compliment. I like, thank you very much, man. Thank you, oh, thank you, Didi. This can be. I already name? see it. This is your show, dude. <laughs> what what type of bitch are you with Darren Davis? <laughs> All right, get get Andrew Santino. Come on. What kind of bitch is Andrew Santino? Italian. No, I don't do race jokes, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do race jokes. <laughs> Degrading to women, yeah. Race, no way, buddy. You gotta draw the line sometimes in this comedy game. Yeah. And then cross that shit. Yeah. What kind of bitch is interesting? What kind of bitch? bitch? Huh? Um, he's a shaggy bitch. Shaggy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I like Amazing. that. This has been, another, this has been another episode of What Kind of Bitch Are You with Darren Davis. Uh, might be a new weekly installment be here on the show. Podcast. Yeah, totally. Um, <laughs> Darren, funny as fuck. Very good, Darren. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, so that. nice to meet you. Sign up All again right. and come hang. Okay. Yeah, All right, cool, cool. Uh, Darren right, Davis, guys. everybody. He's on Twitter at King D City. Very funny, right? How fun. I fucking love it. Keep moving. Put your hands together for Leo Flowers, everybody. Come on. Oh, no, he missed this spot. He's not oh, there. shit. You know what that means. <laughs> that means he gets blacklisted, everybody. Is he, is he Sorry, out in the back there? Does someone yell Leo in that hallway no, just in it's case. it's okay. He's probably gone. It's just all right. Just in case, the it, poor guy. It's okay. We'll just move ahead. It's all right. It happens. The look on his face when he comes running upstairs, like, what? Put your hands together for Ryan County, everybody. Come on. Woo! Come on, motherfuckers. Let's go. Let's do this. Wow. Whoa. Two in a row. Wow. Even I was fooled on that one. Is I thought, in the no way. What's that? Are they all, like, are they in the bathroom together? Like, in the bathroom? I don't know. They might be making friends. They might be. What was that guy's name? Ryan, Ryan County. County. Yep. Ryan County. Yes, it does. Uh, okay, put your hands together for your next comedian, Will Moore. Will Moore. We know Will. We know Will. We love Will. Will. No, here's the catch with Will is he's not in the room because he's under 21 and he's not allowed in the club technically. So this is where Josh Martin goes. And go, goes Josh, go. You know Will Needles Moore? He's a he's a comedian from Ohio and um, yeah the great state of Ohio and where we are going to be on November 29th uh, anyway um, and Will actually started stand up like three years ago at the age of 16 or 17 there yeah he's amazing and he's so fucking cool such a nice guy and the first time that we did a show in Columbus together like four or five years ago. He was sitting in the front row, and I was making fun of him, and he was laughing so fucking hard that I had him come on stage, and I made fun of him on stage, and he was just dying of laughter. He then and cut he, himself many times, was in the hospital yeah. for two years, and then yeah. Tony... Yeah. Uh, yeah. And <laughs> then he started doing stand-up, and he's so cool, and I love him to death. It's probably going to take, like... Oh, thank you. Uh, this, is the this, is the, this is the new question part of the show, where uh, people just fire off their own random questions. <laughs> For those of you listening to the podcast, somebody in the audience just said, where are you from? The answer is Youngstown, Ohio. Oh. That's right. There you go. We would have accepted his mom's butt. Brian, tickling you is not going to save you on that one. Um, are you guys ticklish? Where the fuck are no. you? No. Yeah. Yeah? Too much. Are you? Tickle him. Very, very tickle. much. Tickle him. Tickle him. Patter, yeah. Tickle him? Yeah, no, give him a little tickle. Ladies and gentlemen, tickle. here he is, Will Moore, everybody. Will. Will. Hello, everyone. All right. So I'm, I'm so out of breath. I just walked up a flight of stairs. <sighs> Not a joke that is happening right now. 
All right. So don't you hate it when you see somebody crying, just sobbing, clearly having the worst day of their life that you just got made a part of? And you're like, hey, man, what the fuck are you doing in my mirror? <laughs> Holy f I gotta stop smoking. This is awful. <sighs> I called the suicide hotline once, and I got put on hold. <laughs> Which is ironic, because if somebody held me, I probably wouldn't have had to call them. <laughs> Thank you. I've been, uh, I've been thinking about shaking it up a bit, trying to get out of this funk. Uh, I've been thinking about becoming a prop comic. I've been thinking about propping my head up on the end of a shotgun for quite some time. <laughs> I'm 19, but I think I've become a bit of a casual drinker. I get real fucked up, and I'm super casual about it. Just... <laughs> Like, oh, you should drive. That would be safe. Fuck yeah, there he goes. Out on the air horn. Will Moore. I love it. I love it. How far away were you? You were probably all the way around at the front, huh? Yeah, I was in the patio. Yeah, that's a long walk. Fuck yeah. How old are you, Will? 19. 19 years old, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Monsters. Monsters. Will Moore. How the fuck is life? Uh, you know, up You're visiting in, L.A. Up from, down. what is it, Cincinnati area? Yeah, Cincinnati. Go hey. Bananas Comedy Club. Shout out again, I believe. Don't give a yeah. shout out to Go Bananas here. Right. Will. Uh, no, I love it. It looks like you've never touched a banana in your life, but <laughs> I love that that's your home club. I would have... <laughs> It should be leave bananas, yeah. not go bananas. They, they, they okay. like the banana runs or like <laughs> yeah. the banana flavored. Banana right. splits. Yeah. 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 Or, uh, I was here last splits. time you were here, Will, and you did great again. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Funny, man. Thank Very you. funny. I like you. I don't have anything to say about you besides you're funny. Constant yeah, that was really, killer. That was really funny. Thank How you. long are you in town for, man? I'm here till Thursday. And just here for vacation or for uh, stand up? or? Uh, I guess. I mean, technically vacation because I don't have a real job, but stand up, writing. I'd like to move here eventually. Cool. You, did you drive here? I flew. You flew. Did you drive last time? I feel like you drove. Yeah, I, you did, right? I did. Yeah, I remember that. Look at that. I don't remember anything. I remember that. No. Nothing important to me. But um, you drove, and this time you flew, and you're going to fly home. And then you're trying to move out here when? Uh, just whenever. It seems let, to be able to happen. Let it be now. Tony has an extra room. He'll let you stay with yeah. <laughs> 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 It's true. Fuck yeah. Thank you for offering, Tony. Thank that was you. so yes. nice of you. Uh, yeah. That's so nice of you. Thank you. Uh, Andrew is actually my landlord and yeah. uh, <laughs> is helping me. Um, so what's up, Will? One, one question I've been asking every guest tonight is uh, what's your uh, like fun hobby? What's your second favorite thing to do other than stand-up? Um, I like to draw on my phone a lot sometimes. Uh -huh. That's pretty draw much Draw your it. phone? What is draw, draw on my on phone? Oh. That'd be like, weird if you just drew your phone all the time. Yeah. You're just obsessed about it, just squares. Oh, shit. The you note has the stylus. Oh. Can, can we see a drawing that, that you've done? Sure. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna say. Good thing there's a pen. Cause if you were drawing with those thumbs, I'm <laughs> guessing. It's, I'm guessing it's all fucking just mountains and oceans. Uh, <laughs> one line. <laughs> yeah. One line. So uh, that's the sky up there, and uh, <laughs> that part that's colored in, that's my thumb. To draw a killer <laughs> five strokes. A killer stick figure. <laughs> <laughs> a big tree figure. Wow. All right, let's see it, Will. It went away for some reason. Sorry, this is what oh, well, he's uh, For the audio listeners, he's showing us a lot of dicks. Yeah. Wow, that's oh, amazing. Wow, that's, that's cool. cool. Really good. I Holy just shit. finished really that one that today. Out. Oh, my God. Jesus. Wow. That's uh, incredible that you can this do that. Is, uh, that's, that's Will's artwork for people that can kind of see it. That's, that's pretty cool. It's like an adult uh, swim, yeah. kind of like. Mm, is that going to blur? Is that gonna, like that's a more abstract one. But I've just like I've done drawings of Ari and... It says, and, and it people says, that I but know. then I want to sing and dance again, is what it says in there. That's cool. Is that the name of this piece? Yeah, I guess that's what it's called. Do you like to dance? I, surprisingly, I, I like to dance a lot. Really? really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Do, you, do you like do that Nene -nay stuff? No, I just... <laughs> <laughs> I must say that, that 
Chiba Chews are fantastic. I just had them recently for the first time, and they make me dance an awful lot. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's your specialty in the dance department? Oh, nothing. It's just like I'm. I'm just feeling the groove. What's your favorite my body? Kind of song to uh, get loose to? I uh, don't have one. It's really. It's just whatever's have on. Have you heard of? Have you heard Pat Reagan's album? <laughs> oh wait, I'm, what's this? Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Will, Will, would, are you gonna show us one of your patented dance moves? Will? Oh no, I'm not. All right, go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> Did you guys see how much my legs were shaking just a second ago from how nervous I was about I dancing? I cannot <laughs> do this right now. And everybody just took it so seriously. They're like, all right, man, we get it. All right. <laughs> Normally, that's when the second rush of, no, come on. Yeah. But no, with you, it's like, all right, cool. We gave it. <laughs> we had to ask. Um... Will, you're so funny, yeah, and you're one, you're one of the guys that I love it when you come into town and swing through, and uh, it's so fun to watch you constantly get better and better, and it's you're, you're amazing. You. You're 19, and by the time you're legally allowed to be in this club, you're going to be one of the best comedians anywhere. So I hope so. Keep having fun. Yeah, and really funny. Anything more for Will, guys? So there good, you go. Will. Will Moore. There you go, Will. <laughs> He's up. He's on Twitter at the Needles M, the Needles M, Will Moore, one of my favorite uh, rising um, comedians anywhere. Suicide jokes are always my favorite. Yeah, it's oh just God. great. I love those. I pulled another name out of the bucket. It's Richie Gaines. Yay! Here he comes. Let's see him. Hi. Shut up. Uh, so I uh, I got with this girl recently. Yeah. And uh, thank you. Yeah. And uh, me personally, I don't really mind like a, like a bush or anything like that. I don't care what's going on down there. But this girl was kind of unkempt, you know. And uh, when I went down there, I guess I made like a face. I kind of like offended her. And she was like, well, what did you expect? You know, I'm not a little girl. And I was like, all right, well, why don't you start acting like an adult and take some responsibility for the situation, you know? <laughs> like, I don't have to see your vagina to know whether you are or are not a little girl. Like, I don't go down there and I'm like, oh, shit, I got the wrong girl. Get out of here, you little rascal. What are you doing here? Scat, move it. Yeah. Fuck yeah. There it is. We're plowing through it. Richie Gaines. What's up? Fuck yeah. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Sim. Oh no, never mind. That was last time Sinbad was here. Oh, you yeah. Were, you, you, yeah. yeah. You thought Sinbad was here tonight? No, I <laughs> wanted to. I wanted to say it again. Thank oh. you, Sinbad. Yeah. You yeah. can always thank Sinbad, man. Yeah. He's always, yeah. he's always right, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. He's in these walls. He's, ever, me, he's, yeah. he's, he's everywhere. Every set with that, like he's it's some a, kind of like uh, award speech or thank something. Thank you, Sinbad. Yeah. yeah. Just like the thanks, Sinbad. Thank. This is for you, Sinbad. Thank you. <laughs> Sinbad's driving in his yeah. PT Cruiser right now. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> Someone just thank me. <laughs> He knows. Oh, uh, fuck yeah. Richie's yeah. actually going to be on the Ice House this Friday. He's been on like four canceled Ice House shows. So. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I can't wait to see more of you, man. Thank uh, you. Uh, again, you had a great set again, man. That was, I mean, one, I guess one bit, but that was perfect. It was a. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, that was great, a lot great. of fun. Uh, how else is life going? Where are you from again? Washington, D.C. How long have you been here? Uh, now about five weeks, four weeks, something wow. like that. Yeah. So new. Yeah. Where, where, where are you living? Uh, in Sino. Yeah, it's, you know, man, staying with a family friend out there, free li free living. <laughs> Buy a dumb. Yeah, yeah, Jews. Awesome. Yeah. What'd you yeah. say? And what? Jews. Yeah, they're everywhere. Did you say yeah. Jews? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like I'm Jewish like, and then uh, Jews. It's really? in the community. <sighs> you got to stick with your people. Yeah. That's true. You do. I yeah. Guess, uh, we prefer I mean, it if you guys. I mean, yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. actually how wars have started, yeah. but. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I guess you have to Nonetheless, stick Nonetheless, gotta stick, stick with the people. They're easier for us to find. Yeah. That's true. 
Encino. Are there a lot of it's a, a big Jewish community out there? I guess I don't know. That's that's you're where they're they're everywhere. <laughs> where, where, where aren't they? If, yeah. If, if, every, about that if you're in a rant thing, that and honestly, I know he's a crazy guy, but he didn't. He's kind of. I'm. You know. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Finish. No, that's it. He's kind of right. I don't know. You guys are in fucking a, everywhere. <laughs> in and around every major city, gonna find you. Here, here though, the yeah. here though the most. They're 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 speckled across the room right now. I can smell yeah. them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where there's one, there's many. Uh, <laughs> they're like ants. Richie, what are some of your favorite hobbies? Uh, right now I'm really uh. When you're not going down on little girls, what do you yeah, like to yeah. do? Uh, I'm losing it up right now. Pretty much all I do is I uh, I wake up and then I try to write or do something or look for a job, and then I go out and do stand up. Like the past month has just been like. What kind of job would you be willing to take right now? Uh, what is your specialty? Like, what are you applying for? So, uh, ideally. Let me guess. You have a friend in real estate who. <laughs> No, no. Ideally, I would want to do like something writing related or internship where you're like working toward getting the like writer's assistant job or something like yeah. that. Yeah, That's yeah. Good. Jewish, about, Jew shit. Yeah. About selling <laughs> JS. Come on, Tony. JS, man. <laughs> about selling Mary Kay products. <laughs> yeah. Avon. How, how old are you right now? Uh, 25. 25. Did you go to school in DC and then came? I, out here? I went to University of Maryland. Okay. Grew up in DC. Yeah. College Park, right? Yeah, College Park. What did they call you in college? What was your nickname? Uh well college Richie <laughs> reach around Ruby that was so stupid <laughs> reach around Richie was funny. Like <laughs> what uh I mean honestly so I I took like two years off so when I went to University of Maryland I didn't even I I had a wild ride I started at Boulder University of Colorado <laughs> oh man Whoa. you want to you want to start this yeah. conversation yeah. you want to start right. this you know what that is That's yes exactly yeah, I started oh, yeah. there Boulder University big party school exactly so you went there went there blew out your nasal cavity I did then, actually yeah really yeah yeah I don't do I don't do anything anymore I I did it I did all I because needed you to did in it like all five in years yeah Fuck yeah that's yeah. right I hear that story quite often as I meet more it and is. more people it's when like, I, I it's like a place to go get fucked up and go to rehab, and then you're out. It's like a trip to Vegas. No, straight. Seriously, I so I did. I went to rehab, and when I got there, I was, he was like, uh, "You went to university uh, or something." I brought up University of Colorado. He's like, "We make a lot of money off that school." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, a lot of drugs. Yeah. So, what were those nights like? Craziest thing, crazy, craziest party night at Boulder, because that's the. Like one of the top party schools that they always talk the about. The craziest party night. It's a, it ends sadly. Uh, I got I blacked out. This is true. I black. <laughs> I blacked out and uh, yeah, you're, woke up in jail. You're right. This yeah. is a sad story. I blacked uh, out and woke up in jail. Yeah, yeah. That was that was that was one of my. That's it. What what have you seen that's that was, fun? Like anybody ever? You know, like fucking. I, I saw, I was hanging out at my friend's house, and he was at the bottom of this hill, and this dude just started running down the hill, and then fell, and pff, face planted. You have the worst college stories. Was yeah, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't there that long. One saw a guy you're, fall uh, down the hill. really clumsy. <laughs> Boy, were we clumsy. We were a bunch of klutzes. He oh, dropped what? 75 cents. Man. Soinks. <laughs> Took advantage of that potty school. I don't know, man. I just drank and did coke and did acid. And, and there we go. Yeah, yeah. The are you sure you didn't you just do? get high and watch one of those, like, just for laughs, like, prank shows that are on the <laughs> night? Like, <laughs> this is no fun. Man, some yeah. guy fell down. <laughs> what, what was the moment you, knew you needed to go to rehab? What was the rehab moment? After I punched the cop. You punched In the, the balls? Cop. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. I said that and you glossed right over it. <laughs> you punched the cop and then you got arrested and you right. went to jail and then you were like, I should go to rehab? Yeah, yeah. 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 Why'd you punch the cop? I have no idea. You don't I, remember anything. It, yeah, in the police report, they were like, yeah, we were going to walk him across the street to the drunk tank, and then he swung at my face and connected. <laughs> that's what the police, essentially, that's what the police report said, yeah. Wow. What a yeah, so, well, so you're sober now, right? Yeah. <laughs> and you're staying sober? <laughs> yes, yeah. You're not fucking up at all? No. Good for yeah. you. Yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be hard to do here, but good for you. No, it's it's pretty easy. People, a lot of people make it look really bad. What what what? Stay like a sober. lot of people get drunk and just look terrible yeah. in L.A. I mean, they look really bad. Yeah. What do you miss the most? Cocaine. Yeah, coke. Because yeah. I get tired a lot, and I just was like, that would be a perfect fix. I love coke it. Coke yeah. works so quick. It. How yeah. long was this Great bender fish. in Boulder? Uh, well, Boulder, I was only there for like nine months, but I mean, I was used drugs from like. 16 to 20, 
two. Right. Yeah. And Boulder was the final wow. blowout. No. No. No, no. And then there was rehab in Florida, but I wasn't done there. And then I went back to D.C., and that's where I got clean. Fuck yeah. Nation's yeah. capital. Yeah. That's right. Yep. That's sometimes, what it takes. That's what it takes. That's what it takes. you got to go, to go right to the beating heart. Well, next time I want to hear a joke about all these rehabs. There's got to be so much material there. Yeah. yeah. People that you meet. Did you date anybody while you were there? People usually yeah, fall in love with I sure did. Yeah, one time in, she in fell rehab? down. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, she dropped 75 cents <laughs> and a bagel. Craziest thing. <laughs> really sad story. No rehab love. No, nah, I, I actually, I was only there for a few weeks and then I like ran uh, away. Yeah, a few yeah. weeks and you were done? Well, I left. Yeah. Like, right. I literally left the... Re like, Highly I was just, ill-advised, like, but you were like, fuck this. I can yeah, yeah, it. I don't want to do you this. You called an Uber and took off? Yeah. <laughs> no, no I said I'm at the rehab. <laughs> yeah, rehab, fuck yeah. <laughs> no, a bunch of my friends were in town for some music festival, and they helped me out. It's good. Wow, yeah. That's not normally where you go to get sober. I wasn't. Uh, no, at that point <laughs> in time, I was not trying to stay sober. That's the, that's the point. Yeah, like, I, I left credit, rehab. Uh, do you ever thank uh, Sinbad for your sobriety <laughs> at any point? I think of Sinbad uh, on a daily basis, my yeah. daily meditation. Uh -huh. Sinbad, yeah. Uh -huh. What's your other favorite thing to do? Uh, you said like writing and a bunch of boring. Yeah, shit. exactly. I'm I'm telling you, it's boring. I'm boring right now. Uh, food. I I eat and watch Law and Order SVU. Dude, I'm telling you, I'm boring. I'm trying to tell what you this. You I'm fucking fill, boring. What do you do to fill the void of partying? What What's your adrenaline? Yeah. Usually, most addicts have something else that they do. To fill it in, you drink coffee at 2 a.m. Yeah. Red Bull. Yeah, it's. I'm telling. I'm, I, I want to make this like a good segment, but I. I it's just all boring. Stop trying and just answer yeah. the question. I'm being honestly. honest. Take I'm, off your clothes. Uh, all right, Red Ben. <laughs> Don't do that. Jesus, <laughs> you ask <laughs> me that happening? every night, and then I know. All right, Richie. Yeah. yeah. I think you're right. I think your set was good, and but as a person, you're pretty I'm, boring. Yeah. Garbage. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I really tried. I set you up with beach balls over and over again. Yeah. Here you go. Knock Don't it right worry. out of the pot, kid. I'm just boring, man. But I thank you. Down. Thank you. All, All right. right. Richie. Bye. Richie Gaines. Richie. Another funny appearance by Richie Gaines. <laughs> Richie Gaines is on Twitter. At Richie Rich Gaines. At Richie Rich Gaines. If you're wondering who has that Twitter handle, it's him. Richie Rich Gaines, man. That's him. The one and the only. Uh, a special shout out to a, uh, a, a, our recent swing through sponsor, Sherman's Gourmet. Oh, wow. uh, some of the best, most amazing baked goods you've ever seen. Everything's gourmet. Made in a kitchen by professional chefs. They make like this is a Belgian chocolate brownie, and that there is pizza that you put in the oven for a little bit. What? A delicious little pepperoni pizza. It makes you feel good for six hours afterwards. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. I took one the other day, tripped my ass it's off for really six strong. six hours. This so, <laughs> so just eat it slow. I'd also like to give a special shout out to one of my really good friends who's in the room, uh, a, a fan of the show, and one of my favorite people, Rick Kozik, sitting in the back, everybody. You know him as the awesome fucking cameraman from all the Jackass movies. Yeah. He's the guy that captured all that fucking greatness. And now we are next door neighbors, and it is the coolest fucking thing. Yeah. Me and Rick. And uh, thanks a lot again to Speedweed. Uh, they left a bunch of stuff over the yes. tables. If you guys, good friends at LA yeah. Speedweed. I had a vapor pen that I took on the road with me this weekend that saved my ass. Fuck yeah. And uh, yeah, guys, I pulled another name out of the bucket. I almost forgot because of all these pot sponsors that we have. <laughs> uh, put your hands together for Stephen. <laughs> Stop laughing like that. Put your hands together for Stephen Holloman. <laughs> I, when I was a little kid, I watched all the Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, and they were cool, and they had a lot of stuff in common, like guns and muscles and action. And then when I got older, I was like, man, how come Arnold never played, like, any other kind of roles? So this is my impression of Arnold Schwarzenegger as Jesus in The Passion of the Christ. <laughs> I don't wear my robe clothes because I have such excellent abs. Let me see your baby. No, it's not a tumor. He's okay. My name is Disciple John Campbell. 
This is such a horrible joke to do, so I'm going to just go with it some more. He's on the cross, you guys. Okay, and he's getting tortured, and he's like, Ow! Ow! Stop it! Just terminate me already! Wow, look at that. You were about to fucking kill yourself on stage. Then you turned it around by acknowledging yeah. how terrible it was. You yeah. fucking... Yeah. Reverse psychology to everybody. I like that. I like your fucking style. You're like the kid rock of the open mic. Ah. And that's fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> really like that. Detroit. You seem like, I mean, like, I've met you here quite a few times. You hang out a lot. And I don't think I've ever gotten, this is your first time on the show, right? Yes. Nice to fucking meet you. I like your style, Steven. There's something very Lieutenant Dan about you. Yeah. And, uh, what's the, what's the shrimp place it's, it's at the Universal? It's not my legs, is it? What's up? Uh, oh, Bubble, Bubble Gump. Gump. Yeah. yeah, see, it was weird because at first I thought you were like a waiter at Bubble Gump's, like telling me a joke, and I was just like, oh, fucking kill me. But how you actually turned around, it, you actually turned it around, and, and it actually it was funny. But I don't know if that would work every time. No, not Steven, at all. Steven, I like your style. Uh, so, where are you from? Uh, Prescott, Arizona. How long have you been doing stand up? Uh, this is my fourth year. Fourth year? Yes. You started in Arizona? Yeah, I worked at the uh, Tempe Improv. How long have you been in LA? Uh, a year and a half. Nice. What think about Dan Murr? <laughs> what, uh, well, he's, uh, you know, yeah, rest in peace. That's, right. uh, that's it. Sorry. He died. I apologize he's dead. to everybody about that. Yeah. That made no sense to well, do. Well, tell him what happened. Yeah. I mean, oh, don't make it son so of weird. a son of a well, bitch. Just uh, one of the owners of the Tempe Improv, if, uh, if you're a comedian or somebody that lived in Tempe, a lot of people knew it. A guy that used to own the place, and he passed away recently. So it's one of those you had to be there. So. Well, you guys had to be there. He was uh, a legend, though. What's the uh, what's the skateboarder's name? Jamie. I don't fucking know. You look just like one of those dudes. Yeah. You Jamie say I something. don't fucking know, like you really don't want to yeah. be called the kind of guy that looks like, like you're on a skateboard. skateboard but guy. meanwhile, where's your fucking skateboard? Oh, it's at, downstairs. <laughs> it is. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Really? Kitchen. It's in the kitchen. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> so what's the, so what's the guy's name that I'm thinking of? I still don't know. No. Snap into a slim gym. Who knows skateboarding guys? Jamie, what? What's have you name? always? Uh, have you always? Uh, is that it? Thank sure, you. Sure, of course it is. Yeah. Thanks for not saying it the first time when I said. When <laughs> I was, uh, <laughs> yeah. Waiting. You look like the kind of guy that rides a skateboard, but I I get the feeling that you know a few magic tricks. Am I, I wish right? I did. There's something sort Getting of. Getting laid. I don't know. That's magic to me. Oh, that's fun. You get laid a lot. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What do you do for fun? Um, motorcycles and bikes. Wow, that's fun. I like that. The motorcycle life. You just ride them? Like, like toy like motorcycles? You work yeah, I or? ride them. I work on them. I look cool. at them. That's stuff cool. like that. Motorcycles. You I ever know. hang out in tattoo parlors? <laughs> no, actually. Mm. Nah, reach around. You're out of luck, bud. That's right. <laughs> Wait a minute. So, yeah, you're a, you're a big my bike guy. You have a bike? Yes, I do. You do. Are, have you put it down? No. Are you afraid that it's going to happen tonight? No. No. Is it going to happen? Oh, shit. I rode my skateboard right. here. Why would the bike? We have, a, we have a motorcycle here, guys. Uh, Will Moore is going to bring it up the stairs. And, uh, oh, God, yeah. Bring it up. Uh, they you don't remember who Will is. He's the guy that barely made it. All right, fuck it. Best visual ever. Jesus Christ. You never crash it. Are you afraid of crashing at all? It's oh, terrified. Yeah. Yeah, you'd probably die. Dean yeah. Delray just, I don't know if you know yeah, Dean Yeah, yeah, I heard about it. it was, he got a hit and run. That's even what worse. happened? He got hit. He yeah, a woman stole hit him a car. Going, like stole a car, hit him going like 80 miles per hour. He just slid up his whole side, and then he doesn't want to ever uh, ride a motorcycle again. And bought like a Japanese drift car from uh, ah. Need, Need for Speed Seven. Fuck yeah, Brian Redband with all the sad reports of <laughs> yeah, everything that one. happens in the world. Everyone's this dead. guy died. This guy lost an arm. I saw a little girl get eaten by a shark yesterday. Oh. Anyway, back to the comedy show. Um, uh, <laughs> Steven, I have a little hunch here. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, tell me, if, tell me the truth if I'm right. If is it, that American flag headband that you have around your head, if mm -hmm. you turn that inside out, is there a Confederate flag on the other side? Because <laughs> you seem like the kind of guy that would rock it, but like only when the time is right, like only at like your coffee shop or something like that. He looks I, like a middle-aged Willie Nelson. <laughs> yeah, I'll take <laughs> young, that. Young Willie yeah. Nelson. Is the hair attached to it? Like, is it one of those, like, oh, Wayne? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Spencer's I'm not, I'm not Brett Michaels. <laughs> Spencer's uh, gift. That's great. <laughs> Spencer's gift. <laughs> Hollywood Boulevard gift shops. 
Uh, that's Keeping fun. it American. How long have you been riding motorcycles? You have a bicycle too, you said? Yeah, that's actually, uh, that was my first love. Um, I did like freestyle BMX and I traveled the U.S. when I was younger. Wow. Did competitions and stuff. You ever ride anymore? No, I broke my wrist last year. <laughs> broke your wrist? Yeah, I had so surgery. You went from bicycles where you broke your wrist to, to a motorcycle. Ah, uh, motorcycles for like face. the last eight years, so. Yeah, and you're like, fuck it, I could just Nothing die new. on this one. Fuck a wrist. That's right. That is right. Fuck a wrist. That's what I always see when I people with motorcycles. Like that's the one you're gonna die on. I hope yeah. it's like the color that you like because it's like <laughs> the one. That's the one that's gonna be there when you're like sideways, like bleeding out. Like, uh, why did I get the right. blue one? <laughs> I don't mean you, but like I just or you. Do you weave between lanes? Do you do that? No. No. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Good. Play it safe. I, that's smart. Play it safe. How many people do? And how I'll, about on your bicycle? Yeah, I do weave between cars on my bicycle. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a maniac on the bike. I almost... Fucking, these people are crazy out here. It's like but certain bicycle people have quite the attitude. Like, they get sort of... They get, they're bossier than cars oh, sometimes. Yeah. It's like, you're... Share the road! It's like... Yeah. It's like the, take the, Share the road! Yeah, yeah, take the sidewalk! <laughs> I'll yell back. I'm going to yell back. Yeah. Take the... The sidewalk. It's a path for you and small children. Yeah. It's what? Is it illegal to ride on the sidewalk? Yeah. But you know what the benefit is? Breaking the law versus yeah. getting hit Wait, by the, the yeah. people. I'd rather take a ticket the, than the people quarters. arguing. This n town rally that just fucking started over here. <laughs> you get a ticket for it in Silver Lake! It becomes a... <laughs> um, do you ride a bicycle? Whoever just got super defensive of a... Oh. Isn't that bullshit? W why, why can't you? Sunsets, it's not, it's not. Uh, okay, everybody. Uh, obviously, I just lost control of my own show for a oh, second. Um, Sorry for the bicycle talk. What can, uh, there's not really people on Sunset. Like, wh when are you bicycling on Sunset? And you know you could just 72? Yeah, and you could just take the street right next that you can go on and stiv like a major artery into Hollywood. You know, you, there's side streets. Do you ever take the sidewalk? you ever take people out? I feel like you're the kind of guy that would ride on the sidewalk and just grab a girl by the waist and make out with her, like, yeah. and, and ride her off into the sunset. She just gets on my pegs, and we just go into tomorrow, and it's beautiful. No, I've, I've never done that. I've pissed people off. They've definitely been like, fuck you. How'd you do that? Uh, just Sorry, zooming past them people. when they're not ready for it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> do you huh. make, did you make BMX vi videos? Yeah, yeah, I actually have. Not like a porno, but <laughs> Pat, that's awesome. Pat, you a BMXer? Yeah. I, no, when, no, I, I, when I was when I was when I was a young kid, yeah. Yeah. yeah I did yeah. a couple of like competitions. You were too? Yeah. Oh wow! Look at you guys. Bonding. Oh. Beautiful. My dad was a dirt bike ri rider champion too. Really? You, you were a dirt bike rider champion? Yeah, whatever the mud one is. A dirt biker? The mud one. You should. Yeah, the, mud one. <laughs> <laughs> the mud one. the mud one. I love it, Stephen. I like your style. Anything else for Stephen, guys? Sandro. No, I dig the vest. I like the idea of you coming down the street on your skateboard with that vest on. I just, uh, I, I, you, I, you, I would smile no matter what I was doing. So you're owning it. Thank you, you for right now. It's amazing. You look, you look, you look like a hipster and the guy that would beat up the hipster in the same person, and it's incredible. Uh, there he goes, Stephen Holloman, everybody. Woo! He's on Twitter at Holloman Jokes. Pull another name out of the bucket. Let's pull another name out of the bucket. Oh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I almost forgot about that. We didn't even talk about that, did we? I can't believe people are still doing impersonations. But you know what? As long as you're talking about how bad it is, then it works out. Yeah. Uh, put your hands together for your next comedian, Stephen Breeze. Hey, everybody. I uh, just got a job as a cashier. Thank you. Thank you. I always wanted to be president, but I guess I can settle for making some change in people's lives. Um, I'm going to try to be real relatable. Uh, you guys watch the TV show The Walking Dead? Yeah, I like that TV show. It reminds me of my ex-girlfriend and how I never want to date her again. You know, because she's dead. Um, <laughs> Oh, I only have a few requirements for women and uh, living, breathing, and definitely no biters. Uh, no? <laughs> okay. There are some weird people, uh, I, sh I shouldn't call them weird because I feel bad uh, for the dating life of necrophiliacs. Like that's, 
You guys aren't on board with me. I mean, this, their dating lives must be really hard. Uh, think, like, I can make an online dating profile, and maybe the girl that I'm meeting uh, isn't the same person in the picture. This guy has to go through days of obituaries just to find his newly dead bride of his dreams. And maybe she's a little bit drier when, um, and that gives a whole new meaning to lotion. Uh, oh, man, I'm bombing you guys. <laughs> oh. All right. Fuck yeah, Steve Breeze. What's amazing about about what I, uh, just happened here is that you acknowledged that you were bombing, and in a very tattoo-centric episode of Kill Tony, I noticed that on the back of your left bicep is an actual bomb. Yeah, there was a grenade, and then this side there's a, just a pin with the, the smoke. Just a pin with a what? With the smoke coming off with of the it. With the smoke. Is that yeah. what happens after? I have no idea. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. a part of the bombing. Yeah. And everything in between those two things bombed. And it was yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Like, it, that's incredible. Yeah. Like, you, at least you're the totally, space, like, owning yeah. it. Like, he is the How was your set tonight, bro? Just, like, right there, buddy. Just fucking yeah. bomb. Uh, <laughs> Steve, I like your style. How long have you been doing this? Uh, this is four years, four or five years. Four years. Where at? Uh, in Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. The whole time? Yep. That's so where you're I just started. visiting right now. I just moved here. Oh, cool. Nice. How long yeah. ago? About a week. Fucking uh, awesome. Yeah, man. That's great. It's, what were you doing in Milwaukee for money? Uh, I was a resident manager. What does that mean? I just uh, babysat a bunch of people in a building, and they let me stay there for free. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Managed like a manager of yeah. apartment building. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. So I just rented apartments. I don't think you bombed. I'm just stoned. That's my excuse all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I think the <laughs> necrophilia stuff is probably hard. I think because you said, <laughs> I, I think... I think because you said, I'm going to be super relatable here. Yeah. yeah. And you did a Walking Dead <laughs> joke. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I don't think you go from, like, relatable Walking Dead to being like, you guys know about people that fuck dead people, right? It's a, t it's a yeah. tough transition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a tough transition. I don't think it's common enough. I think. Yeah. I see where he was going, though. Me, too. I try enough, to make it romantic. Know. That's, I mean, and there's more to it. Oh, I saw the romance angle. Yeah, that was, like, yeah. very romantic. I can no. tell you're, you're romantic. I'm just yeah. trying to figure out when you bring flowers. That's the whole. Right. Yeah. But you're, are you fascinated with necrophilia? Not really. It was just a topic. Yeah, yeah, it just hit home. Yeah. Milwaukee, Milwaukee is a, a, a place yeah, we, of we, serial killers, yeah, right? Yeah, we eat people there. That's but who, what's his name is from Dahmer. there? Dahmer. Dahmer lived by campus of Marquette, right? Like blocks uh, away? Sort of, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, actually, uh, before I left, I filmed a short in a, in a hotel that he killed oh. his second victim in. So you're funny? totally fucked up. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm totally fucked yeah, up. Really yeah. funny. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. awesome. That sounds hilarious. Yeah. Did you move out here alone? Yes. Cool. What other um, fucked up shit are you, you where into? Do you, uh, he li what part uh, of I did burlesque? I don't know. That's it's what part of Modesto? <laughs> where you? Where you? No, where, sir. Where do you live? Like where? Did, where do I live now? Yeah, yeah, like I live in West Hollywood. I'm staying with a friend. Right. Okay, cool. Yeah. And this is permanent. The transitions now. It's like it's full time. Yeah, I put my jobs. Okay, good. Yeah. All I got a new. I, it's. Uh, I lost my social security card. Uh, <laughs> And I just got a job, but I need that to like get the job. Yeah, wait. Yeah, I feel. Where did you no lose? No passport. It? He lost that like too. I lose a lot of shit. important Hold things. Hold on yeah. a second. You lost. You lost your social and your passport. Yeah. That's uh. not, I, don't, I don't know if I believe this. Hold on a second. <laughs> yeah. You're. That's. You're fucked. I mean, that's like some. Oh, totally, does. man. Yeah. That was my day. I, f I found out that I didn't have it today. Right. How do you lose both wow. of them? I mean, do you keep them both together and you're out drunk, Laverne and Shirley? I don't and drink. I just lose shit. What do you do for fun? Not much right now. Yeah, you know, you, uh, I take a lot of walks. That's what I do. I like walking. You do this a lot? Smoking. Yeah, you can see oh, you me shaking. Too? Yeah, yeah. 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 I really want a cigarette. <laughs> That's, is the, uh, oh. How much better is the pot here than in Milwaukee? It's been good. It's been yeah. good. Yeah. Huh. Did your girlfriend really die? No. She, did she get murdered? I have a different joke. that le I have another dead. I explain how my girlfriend dies before I tell that joke. Yeah. And then that's just a callback. Do you wish your ex-girlfriend was dead? Is that where that's down? No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. You have no. no ill will towards any of your exes? No, she's uh, she's actually just getting married. It's kind of like better for her. Better oh, for her. yeah. So you're <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice I don't guy. believe an inch He's of that. Nice. It's a, you know, it's better. I'm, ha I'm happy. I'm totally I'm happy for her. And I think <laughs> everything's going to be good. What, what, is I, oh, just, <laughs> uh, yeah. what does she do for work? Uh, I think she's working at a... She was working for an electrical company. Yeah. So when you're stalking her, like, are you are you eyeballing the exact times that she's like in the parking deck and like all that? Oh stuff? no, I moved away right after we broke up. Oh, Do you know yeah. the guy she married? 
Yeah, he, we actually went to high school together. Oh, oh that's, that's crazy. Oh. Yeah. That's, that's the you guys, worst. You guys still talk? I, I talked to him. See? Last time I talked to him, he was, uh, he, he was into pyramid scams, so I kind of like, uh, it was a boring, boring conversation. You know what that proves that you went to high school with this douchebag is that you should have done the school shooting that it looks like you already did. Yeah. You should have done it. You totally seem like the school shooter comedian that just like got away with one and like, yeah. oh, I lost my social security card. Yeah. Um, uh, anyway, some more jokes. Uh, <laughs> I've, been, I've been thinking about a mani manifesto. I mean, that's... I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Well, you, you like, you like us, though, right? Yeah, no, totally. I'm okay, not going to kill anybody. Ooh, I'm not like that. Totally good. Right, um, yeah. I was just like, as long as I don't care about other people, but me, you're not going to kill me. Uh, right? No, no, no. no Thank man. you. That's all I care about. <laughs> Who, no. who would you, who would you go for first? I wouldn't go for anybody. No. I mean, if you, you had, see, to. I, my Somebody's grandma's like, dead. You gotta, That's you, the only person I ever hated. Somebody so. was like, who's you the only person you hated? My grandmother. She's dead. I'm fine with it. Uh, cool. Wow. Why did you hate her? Don't so much? get because she was great. a cunt. She whipped me with a phone cord. Fuck her. She used to hit you with a phone cord. Yeah. Oh, and make meatloaf and order pizza. That was how my that's that was Wait, my. Well, those last two things sound pretty like awesome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not every day. Not what every what day. kind of stoner says that he hates his grandma that made meatloaf Just and pizza? Just buy a wireless phone. Two out of three. Yeah. Just buy a cordless phone and then she'll still make the meat. Oh, she's dead though, right? She's dead now. That's ah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I did, your style was good. The necrophilia didn't hit, but I could tell that in a different room it might have. You never know. I think it, I think your hasn't. confidence in it was good. No, it hasn't worked. One person came up to me uh, and said, you fuck dead people. And I was like, you didn't get the joke. I don't fuck right. dead people. How long have you been doing it? Uh, I think four months now. And and it's still not working, but you, do you love it? I like it, yeah. Yeah, you do. That's why you keep doing it. Yeah. I like that. Keep doing it then if you really like it. Keep doing it. it, it but just do other stuff that other people oh, yeah, like totally, a little bit. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then it evens out. Yeah. And then it evens out because you're going to have to do... <laughs> You'll have to do stuff for you yeah. that they don't really like, and I applaud that. I think keep doing jokes that you think are it, fucking funny. Does that live close to your heart? Have you thought about necrophilia or something? Like, is that something that you might, you know, in a million years think that you could pull off? Do you? Th Let me ask you this. This is a question you won't hear on any other show in the world, by the way. Do you think you'd be able to get hard for a corpse? No. Well, I'm I don't pretty, know. Did I'm you hear pretty, that no, now? No, 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 no. See that? Most no. people would be like, dear God, no! I'm, I, do you uh, want me well. to just, you were talking about fetishes earlier, you want to hear my sexual, like my sexual. Yes. Answer? Fuck yeah. yeah. Yes. I, talking about, let it rip, oh, motherfuckers. I, I am quiet as fuck. I don't, I, I, I started having sex very young. And I masturbated very young. <laughs> no. No, no, that's a whole different story, dude. Um, but. Oh, shit. I, um. I started doing these things really young, so I had to be really quiet. So just in trend, like, I dated a girl, uh, like, 13 to 20 years old. I didn't meet any other girls. I just had sex with she this one girl. She was somewhere between 13 and 20 years no, no, old. No, no, no. We dated. Oh, yeah. We dated from 13 to 20. So oh, seven wow. years. I didn't wow. have anybody else. Right. Until, like, so one girl, we always had sex in her parents' room. Or not her parents' room. Yeah, a few times when in her parents' you, how room. How old were but, you when you lost your virginity? I was... 13 wow so what's your crazy you you what's your crazy i'm so i'm quiet. really quiet i don't like i don't like any sort of noise during sex it throws me <laughs> off it throws me so off funny, it you throws me off that's funny. That's amazing. That's funny. i so mute funny. i, I oh mute porn i mute porn you Ooh. mute porn i mute porn oh i that's love that so Oh my yeah. god. So when the girl is making noise, are you like, shut up? Shut yeah, up. Yeah, like, Stop enjoying yeah. yourself, yeah. bitch. You yeah. should be dead. You get angry? Like, shut the fuck up. No, 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 no. no. Tell me that it sucks. You just kind of no. like, I'm not. You, you lose your boner? No. Like, if you hear like a. Like, let's say, like, you, like somebody closes the door and you're like, fuck, my dick's gone. Like, it. Yeah. I don't get scared. You know. No. No. So you can technically get talk blocked? <laughs> like, yeah. any kind of noise. What about music, TV, any of that? You have to shut everything off if you're hooking up with a girl. What's one yeah, sound that know. you like? I don't, I don't, I don't, like yeah. if if you were I mean, having it's happened sex. enough where I'm kind of just used to. Let's say happened. let's say somebody offered you like five thousand dollars to make a porno, right? And you're having sex with a chick, and somebody walked up right next to you and blew an air horn off right next to your head. Like what would happen? You'd be done. No, I could probably go through that. Okay. So a yeah. sex toy for you is like noise canceling. Oh, they're just gross to me. They're just gross to me. That's yeah. Huh? yeah. He headphones are gross to you? No, no. I thought you said the the. Oh, a sex toy. A sex toy. Do you like women's sex. feet? Huh? Are you a feet guy? A feet guy? Yeah. No. Foot fetish, no. No. 
Weird. By the way, I will say I appreciate you saying your fetish. I think that's very brave. Some yeah. people hit have, have way creepier too. shit. What is it? A candle fetish? Like wow. Waxing? That's fun. That's candle cool. they put what? Wax, candle wax on silence. you? Yeah. That's cool. But then, yeah. oh, because you just want to hold in the, the pain. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. You you don't you want to scream, but you hold it in. No, I just think it's it tickle it fucking tickles like that. Tickle. Oh, I think oh. Brian, I think you found your tickle victim. Ah! Oh, your tickle, tickle buddy. We finally got somebody that likes tickling you, tickle piece of buddies. shit. Go tickle <laughs> away, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> I love that. Somebody I'm gonna sneak up behind him later and just tickle him. Yeah. I could turn it off. Yeah. I could turn it off. You can't turn the tickle off. Yes, I can. Yeah. I can. Now that I know it's going to happen, it's so off. Now it's gone. No, no, no. It's so well, off. that's good. I, I think, uh, I think the the sex thing is funny. You should talk about that on stage. That's really funny that you have to be quiet. Yeah, absolutely. That's so funny. Do you, you ever mean? talk about that on stage? I have. Yeah. 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 You have to. Um, is it a pr when you talk to a girl that you're going to date? Are you like, hey, I'm just giving you a heads up. I'm not going to show any emotion when we fuck. <laughs> I've had that said after. Like, girls are like, you're a dead you're fish. Very, you're, no, just very detached. You're detached. Very is the, detached. Is the part, yeah. that, is the part oh. where they make the noise that bothers you the most the part where they go, oh, my God, you have a dick? I thought you were a lesbian. <laughs> uh, is that, or, you're like, shut the fuck up. I got hit on by a guy who thought I was a girl. Really? Really? But, like, a girl who had made a transformation. Did you go through with it a little no, bit? No. Did I, you I have like a gimp, gimp yeah. costume on at the time, and you just unzipped it, and they only saw your lips, or...? No, he just straight up asked me if I was a woman. So I this, had, he, I could see that. There's something sort of Sinead O'Connor about you. Yeah. You know, yeah. I could see it. Yeah, that's a good call. It's true. He's got sweet eyes. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Your face right now, is that your O face? No, I, I was. Yeah. So let me ask you something. You're having sex with a girl, okay? And she starts like moaning, right? What do you say? How do you say it? Most of the time I sigh for a little while, and maybe it'll just go away by itself, like that. You sigh during like, sex? You sigh during just sex? Like, just like, oh, I don't oh, oh, my God, oh, wait a second. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it's normal. Like that? Yes, yeah. You, <laughs> yeah, that's the worst. Oh, sex Steve. is gross. Steve, can you give us an example of your sigh that you would say if you're having... It's just... Like, it's just like a, Come on, really? Uh, come on. You know, it's... it's when I don't show when, emotion, dude. Like that's, When you come, what, do you, what does that sound like? <laughs> uh, I have a joke about it. It's just whenever, whenever I come, I say, "Oops, it's a baby." Uh, that's. Oops, it's a baby. Yeah. Stop, uh, I'm not very good in uh, pillow talking. Um. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I, li I liked your energy up top. By the way, I will say that you were up here and you confidently came up and you were like, boom, boom, and you went for it and you went for it. Even though they, some of them didn't land like you want them to, I do think you did good on that. So that's a, just that's really a good note. Yeah, yeah. That's a good so note. fun yeah. meeting you. You totally seem, you know, it, it's blatant that you've been working hard in Milwaukee, and uh, I'm excited that you're a part of the scene here. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be great for you. You seem really committed, and built for it, and uh, please don't murder us. And perhaps, yeah, perhaps, yeah, perhaps no you way. may see a, a future first like school like set of shootings. If you're going to shoot a school, shoot Pat Reagan first, Grenades. is what he's saying. Okay. Uh, grenade. School grenade. You're going to be a grenadier. Oh, there it was. It was all for grenadier, so everybody. <laughs> that was the payoff. Stuff, dude. Right. There you go, Steve okay. Reese. Thank Thanks, Steve. Everybody, Steve Reese live. This is Twitter. We're going to get to the part where we now we do our two regulars. Every single week we have oh, yeah. two uh, female comedians who are awesome and... Uh, this is like week seven or eight of them being part of the show. Uh, do one more, he says. Time, maybe really? maybe, one maybe more. we'll do one more Let's after them. Uh, put your hands together for your first regular. Um, she is so awesome. She's 19 years old. Uh, she just got back from London and Paris. Uh, put your hands together for her. She's great. Allie Makovsky, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I was fucking this guy, as you do, and uh, he. after it was done, uh, he was like, I'm so good at this. Like, I was so good. And I was like, mm, no, you weren't. I'm so good at this. And he was like, no, I'm really good at this. He was like, maybe you come in like a close second. I was like, I don't come at all. You suck. <laughs> Listening to a lot of Drake lately. 
really like Drake. Uh, I noticed that he says the N-word a lot in his songs. For a half-black, half-Jewish guy, I'm disappointed with how little he says kike. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's amazing. A new uh, new minute by Ali Mikofsky. Thanks. Um, <laughs> Good job. It's so fun. Did it again. Uh, yeah, Drake's fun, right? Love it. Can you believe Drake lives in Calabasas? Well, that's what? one of his cars or houses. <laughs> yeah, but like that's like his main. No, Toronto's his main house. Really? Why is that crazy? I think, I, why well, do you guys know so much about where Drake I lives? I used to date a Mexican. Oh, hey, Drake, Drake. Got it. <laughs> Drake's Fleek. an inspiration. You haters. Yeah. Everybody haters. wants everybody wants to hate when you're on top. It, he's an inspiration, really. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. What, what for? Fucking, Drake fucking sucks. You yeah, Drake no, sucks. Sucks. You're wrong. Okay. You're wrong. Wait, well, let, let you, you guys, God goes out. Why does he suck so much? Drake is jogging music. I listen to I listen to his you know you know how you know good That's music. That's right. I said Andrew, it. Nobody else will tell you. Good music hits your ears. That's the what you, you listen to when you put you're on jogging. Cypress Hill. You don't jog. Hits from a bong. It's like hits from a bong. Oh, like right. it's like in it. And I Drake put on Drake. I'm you. just like this is just yeah. boring. I, what kind of hip hop do you listen to? Cypress Hill. Really? You're committed to that yeah. as your number one answer? Yeah. Yikes. Okay. This All right. Is well fun. then, I can see why we couldn't even. We'll, ne we'll never come close to agreeing on I'm Drake. really enjoying myself up here. Fuck yeah, really Ali's funny, jumping yeah. in. Um, you listen to Drake a lot? No. No. I just was listening to him with a friend, and he was saying the N-word so much, and I was like, isn't he half Jewish? I feel like it's a little bit wrong that he's saying this so often. Right. Yeah, he's an interesting one. He's Canadian, too. Are he's you like, Jewish? I'm Jewish. Half. Half. Yeah. So mm. you, sh you should have been able to just say, Kite. you can't finish Yeah, no, it, I can't finish it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like it just feels so good, you know. It's like empowering. You're taking it back. I'm not. I know. I'm not Jewish. I say it all the time. I good. <laughs> Let's get it started. Did you ever tell anybody to go fly a kike? Yeah. No. No. I uh, probably shouldn't say that. What? Uh, what? Uh, what else has been happening? What else is going on? Um, you, you just got back from Europe. I did. I yeah. did get back, and it's awful. <laughs> I want to go back to Europe. Really? Yeah, it's what, so great over there. What do you miss about Europe the most? Um, just like the people. I think it's only because it's like a new place, so everything is just so exciting. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure if I was there for a longer time, I'd be so over it. Yeah. Allie, did you bone a guy, and was was he really like bragging after? No, I just thought of that when I was over here because I, I was telling my friend I went to the gynecologist today, and then it just kind of like spiraled into just fucking dudes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Organic. Organic, so organic. organic. Yeah. That's fun. Did you do a lot of comedy spots out there? Yeah, I did some shows over there, and they were really great. What's the difference between European crowds and American crowds? Um, there's intermissions during shows over there. Ew. It worked out really well, That's though. It's horrible. really cool. No, it's, it's chill. It's a bad idea. Hmm. Yeah. Have you ever been in a show where like you're watching, and it's like, yeah, this is getting better and better and better and better, and then they just stop it? And like like all the it power and energy that was in that show is just now reset. No, now it's everyone's not like though. half drunk. But the idea yeah, for been them is for them. people to go suck. piss and get more drinks and all well, that over, stuff. Well, right? over there, everyone's smoke. smoking yeah. cigarettes, so they're just like, I need this. Yeah. yeah. And they do. Yeah. They do. So I guess maybe it works out for the better. They come back in <laughs> with their smoke and then their drink and then they're piss free and they're not going to stand up in the middle of a set. And they sit the whole fucking time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so I, I bet it works. You it said does. you're half Jewish. What's the other half? Uh, Catholic. Ugh. That's not really a. All right. Uh, I don't think you know how this race thing works exactly. Uh, oh wait. Actually, she's right. They're yeah. Right. No, no, she's yeah. Actually I'm right. not. Knows, yeah. Which is but only you, because she's half Jewish. I'm not Israeli. Right. right. Well, yeah. And that's not even that wouldn't even make you Jewish. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. There's a lot of people in LA that are like, I'm Jewish. It's like, do you go to church? And they're like, no. Yeah. Then you're not Jewish. Then you're just a guy. Yeah. Who had? That's it. Right. You're actually right on point. Thank you. Fuck all these fake Jews. Fuck them. How about race-wise? Race-wise, uh, my mom is uh, Irish and my Ooh. dad is Russian. Nice. That's good. Yeah. Russian Jew? Russian Jew, yeah. Those, they're cold as ice. They're fucking Yeah. yeah they're cold. badass. They're nuts. Your, dad, your dad's a bad motherfucker. No, he's such an idiot. He's really? a degenerate. Yeah. <laughs> he, he told me the other day, he goes, I was like, oh, yeah, we're Russian, blah, blah, blah. He's like, no, we're Polish. And I was like, who are you? Like, are you my dad? <laughs> Get out of here. Wow. Uh, where, are you, where are you from? I'm from Long Beach. Yeah. Yeah. I like it down there. 
Me too. You probably like it so better, so much over there, just because you haven't been. You've been in California your whole yeah, life. That's true. Like yeah. if you just moved to anywhere, you'd probably be like, "Wow, New York is the most amazing place in the world." Right. Yeah, that's true. I've never been there though. Long yeah. Beach, Long Beach, uh, like this, like the what's the area called? Belmont Shores. Yeah, really, Belmont Shores. My mom used to live over there. It's really nice, right? Yeah. And then not too far away, it's really not nice. Right? Yeah, yeah. It, it, like, you just go make a left turn down a street, and you're like, oh, where am I? But Still Belmont's in Long Beach. But like really, really wealthy, ri yeah, rich. Yeah, because it's like right by the beach. You still right. live with your parents? Uh, uh, I couch surf right now, but technically that is my home base. Dick surf or couch surf? <laughs> um, it's a couch. Uh, there's there's mattresses on it, and... Uh, oh, there's multiple. You've stacked mattresses on your couch? Yeah, there's so many mattresses. On the, on the couch? I actually live in Mattress City, the store. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sponsored. What do your parents You're say about you uh, doing stand-up comedy? My mom's watching the you stream right now. My dad's name is Larry. You're killing <laughs> us, Larry. Yeah, we he is. is oh, wait, and Larry's watching right now? My mom is watching. Uh, your dad. Where, mom, that's how fun is that? Say something <sighs> important that you need to say. Sorry yeah. for fucking people. Yay. <laughs> Look what you created, Mrs. Makovsky. Um, fuck yeah, there she goes, Ali Makovsky. Good job, Ali. Yeah. Follow her on Twitter and Instagram and everything, Ali Makovsky. We have one other regular that writes and performs a brand new 60 seconds every single week. Uh, the always fun, goofy, nervous stylings of the one and only Melissa Esslinger, everybody. <laughs> Um, my mom's Jewish, so I'm a fake Jew, just so you know. Um, what's funny about tonight is um, I used to live in Wilmore. Like, literally, Wilmore, Kentucky is, like, where I went to college. And uh, Wilmore, is, Wilmore was a large guy. Sorry, that, that just happened. And uh, I just said sorry again. That's okay, though. So why do you do this, <laughs> Melissa? Why? Uh, people keep asking me. Um, because, quite frankly, drugs are not sustainable, uh, but uh, making a fool of yourself is, and making people laugh is. Look, see, I'm shaking like I just did something terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I do it, and uh, I think I fell short because I didn't hear a cat, and I don't know how long it's been. You want any jokes? Uh, did you write a joke? I, I, I did, but then I was, uh, oh, it's oh, taken oh, over oh, me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I, what's happening? Whoa. Well, can I just, I can't think of it, can, but I can think of, a, of a, oh, wow. Hey guys, back, and we're back, and we're back. So, uh, it depends, because it just depends how lazy I am today. Depends, the diapers. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. It's a diaper joke. She said depends. Like the diapers. <laughs> By the way, time flies with Wh Melissa Esslinger. That was a minute, one minute and thirty seconds. Uh, time, time flies when you're having a stroke. What? Yeah, that was that was incredible. Uh, <laughs> fuck yeah, Melissa. Um, you went for it. If if shaking was uh, was the goal, then you fucking did it. Like we need to get you. You should be like a professional salad tosser or something. Like some kind of. Some kind of thing where it's arky, like, arky, 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 arky. right. <laughs> if we gave you if we gave you a shake weight for three weeks, <laughs> you would end up being Ronda yes. Rousey. All right, <laughs> you would just be in an octagon beating the shit out of her because you'd be unstoppable. You would have made that dude from American Idol look like a bitch. The kid with the stutter or yeah. whatever. You would have yeah. fucking trumped yeah. him so hard with that shake. Totally. It was really good. You shook so much, they would have reported on it on uh, Michael J. Fox News. Yeah. That's how much you shook. I'm trying to get rid of it. You're trying I to like get rid it. of the shake? I'm getting I like there. It. Fuck just, yeah. I just get so nervous, and the harder I push against those nerves, the more I shake. So was there any joke that you had written tonight? Yes, and I'll be honest, I completely forgot them because I really, really like this episode, and I actually, like, usually I'm, like, in my head for a whole time before. Did your shake bring all the boys to the yard? <laughs> <laughs> shake it off. Shake it off. It's yours now. I'll never be able to use that. So now you have a, there you go, you wrote your joke for the day. Uh, that's how it works. No, it doesn't. There's the joke. Yeah. Melissa, oh, yeah. what else has been happening? What have you been doing for fun? Um, you work well, a lot. You work a full-time day job. That's incredible. 
Yep. You're doing spots at night. You just started stand up. You're newer at it than even Ali Makovsky is, and uh, she's 19. It's um, here. 20. 20. That's right. Oh, she had a birthday. birthday. How, uh, how old yeah. are you? 25. Yeah. I just turned 25. Been so young. Thanks. Yeah. What yeah. do you do for fun? Um. Well, usually I like I like I really like to drive, but you can't do that here. Um, so I why used to like. Why to can't you do that here? Because you've killed seventy-four people uh, <laughs> that were walking on sidewalks. She just well, I you mean, like to drive over people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just well, I drive a stick shift, so it's a lot of work if I'm going to be driving during any time that anybody else is out, which is always. So I just get. I mean, I don't mind it, but anyway, I uh, usually I like to play music. Just but um, stick are you? Shift, you keep throwing mm -hmm. it into neutral when you're on the freeway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yep. I think I've only used fifth gear like once since I moved here. You should go up to a bar <laughs> sometime. Like, I'll have a panic attack, shaken, not stupid. <laughs> 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 well, I really um, applaud your I, bravery. I think you did a great job. You came up here nervous as fuck. I think it's good yeah. to do it. It's, it's funny that you said you get more nervous and then you go right into the nerves and it makes you even worse. I thought it would. I, I'm still, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. No, but I think that's a good thing that you're just going to fucking do it. I think that's the only way to do it. Yeah. See, what's fun is it's an interesting position because this is the only spot, I think, in all of comedy or anything like it where the audience that watches all these episodes of these shows that I talk to when I'm on the road performing in sold out venues yeah. uh, they they often come up to me and they go you know the part with the regulars is so cool because we get to watch them grow you know there's no other show where you get to watch somebody really get better at stand up comedy other than this one week after week and Either you're going to be like this amazing turnaround storyline or it's going to have the saddest ending. <laughs> yeah. all time. And, um, uh, but either way, that's what's fun is like taking the chance and committing. And, yeah. you know, the only way that it's going to work is by keeping doing it. And there's nothing that can take away your spot. You know, you're locked oh, in for a minute here. So if, if you if you, you, can't, you can't shake your way out of this one. If you <laughs> if you really had a uh, a because the know. haters gonna hate 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 hate. hate. <laughs> if you had the players if you, are gonna play. If you had jokes written out and you were too nervous to remember them, you need to write them down. Yeah. Uh, because yeah, you just fucking scribble because fucking that shit was out of really them. literally a minute of thirty a minute thirty. We gave you extra time that we are that we were like, whoa, wait, when's she going to start? Somebody even yelled out, when are you going to start? Which you know, is not a good thing to but, yell out. I mean, peasants, it's it's I'll very you. it's very important that we actually see material though because yeah. we, I mean, this is the whole point is that we can watch you grow so every week that we can see yeah. like an improvement in writing and stuff like that. I, I don't know what is this like the fifth or sixth or seventh week we've seen and you actually did better on your first uh, time on the show. One of my uh, I was going to talk about being awkward when I when I came here tonight before I walked in this room. I was going to talk about being awkward and how I make awkward people feel comfortable. I was going to talk about how um, someone once, like, I was meeting new friends and they were like, uh, we accept you. We had an autistic friend. And that's my joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, <Sure. laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So that's, maybe next that, week those write were it down. What I w that, yeah. Maybe next yeah, time write it down. I yeah. mean, and just have yeah, it as norm a backup. Normally, you look at your hand when yeah, you're. Yeah, and I haven't been doing that. Right. I've been well, I guess it's. Horrible. I guess that's. You know, that is also, by the way, the best way to learn how to not. You know, I was never one to really like write down a set list. I don't know if you guys were, but now you know. When you when you learn without needing a set list, like sometimes you're just gonna sink or swim without remembering. And the more times that you end up going on stage and you don't remember your shit, you're just going to end up remembering more the next time because you're yeah. like, I don't want that fucking feeling again. Yeah. So That's I don't know. I don't know whether I would commit to writing it down or not writing it down. Or you could just fucking push it and try to remember it. <laughs> know how much better it feels to get a laugh than to <laughs> end up just like fucking... I don't know what you do. It's so funny, though. It's so compelling to watch. It's like watching a puppy like panic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa. Some kind of shelter. Yeah. It's adorable. But I think it's a good, it's a pretty good example for people that are watching and the people that are here that this is so much harder than mm -hmm. people think. I think it's a good thing to people, I think it's good that people see you shaking so fucking violently. Yeah. So they know, so they know what kind of emotion it can evoke yeah. out of people to get on stage because there's, every dickhead is like, I can, I can get up there and 
But it's really, really tough, right? Mm-hmm. Isn't it really tough? Yeah. Is it the hardest thing you've ever every, done? Pretty much every time I every time I go up, I want to just puke and not go up. Well, Melissa, and you... Like, no. almost every time. I get excited once I'm... But, yeah. You know, Mitch it's, Hedberg wore sunglasses to, like, combat yeah. his nerves. So yeah. maybe you could try performing a sensory deprivation tank. <laughs> Desperation. It's a desperation <laughs> tank. Yeah, yeah. Melissa, I love your style. Yes. I, I, I'm so looking forward to episode to episode with you, and you're one of my favorite things to watch. So there she is, Melissa. Esselin. Melissa! Yeah, the other regular. There's no, uh, there's no Ding Dong show tonight after this show. Uh, normally, this is when the show ends. You guys, you guys want to do one more? I think we should do one more. Yeah. Yeah, I think we should there's, do one more. There's a comedian who I'm sure signed up, who I see in the back of the room, who I know is just visiting. And uh, the last few times he's been on the show, we've had so fucking much fun with him. He's one, another one of these young guys that I think is a real like upcoming monster on the scene. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but put your hands together for him. Let's get him up here. Michael Perkinson, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you guys remember the Bloods and the Crips? Hey, you think the Bloods ever get mad when the blue team wins on Wild and Out? <laughs> it's about as gangster as entertainment gets, right? Yeah. I got to... <laughs> I got a pocket pussy, but it's pretty hard to fuck while it's in my pocket. Or at least that's what I told TSA while they were searching my bags. <sighs> How y'all doing tonight, Pat Reagan? Just laughing your ass off at me, just bombing here. I'm, God, I wish this crowd was full of crickets. That way I could say I was playing to my target audience. <laughs> you sons of bitches. You sons of fucking bitches. What's with people naming their junk after animals? You know, you got, like, hey, suck my cock. You realize a cock is also preverbed as a chicken, right? So technically everybody here has eaten some cock, right? You know, you got the beaver, you got the moose knuckle, the camel toe. You think a camel's walking around with pussy feet? Just puss f- pussy footing around, you know? <laughs> Oh. All right. Hey, guys. Do you want to do another one? Hey, Mike, 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 Mike. Hey, guess what? Just shut the fuck up, Randy. Every step I take is home day. Me and my dirty pussy feet. Pussy. That was, that was the rest of that joke. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was it, huh? <laughs> one less. One less. Uh, <laughs> Good job, man. Michael fucking Parkinson. Now, last time I saw you, there was some crazy shit going on. You had to move back to Florida. You said you might not ever be coming back. You had the gout, which is like some kind of fucking... Obviously, uh, to be to get that, you either have to be a king or a blown-up version of Rhea Perlman. Uh, it, it, you still didn't learn from the gout. You're, you're wearing sandals as... Uh, as sandals. Always. Always with the flip. Yeah. Yeah. Lady, lady with shoes. <laughs> yeah, why don't, why, why, don't you, why don't you ever cover your feet? Get never. Dude, let them breathe, baby. Let them breathe. What movie are you working on? You're in town right now for a movie, right? I am working on a movie. Wow. Uh, You're playing the, the new Marshmallow Man. I correct? actually have. Yeah. <laughs> God damn, no. You're making new Ghostbusters. Jesus, no. No, I'm actually You're playing, you playing Jonah Hill in the Jonah Hill biopic? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, damn. <laughs> I'm not. It's called, okay, I've got two movies. One just came out. It's called Helen Keller vs. Nightwolves. I got another one. <laughs> wait a wait, second. Wait, 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 wait a second. <laughs> laugh, laugh it up. We got a fucking great fucking cast. Helen Keller vs. Nightwolf? Yeah, you want to talk about it? Let's roll. I'm laughing I'm with a, you. You're Nightwolf. fucking. Which, which I'm one? Pat Reagan oh. in my dad. Oh, and my Greg's dead. Ah, fucking whatever. Wow, movie. Michael wow. Perkinson hates you, Pat That's Reagan. Oh, I got Just be genuine. Up. Just be genuine. Write a song about me fucking you later. Wow. Whoa. Jesus. Holy shit. Michael happened? Perkinson. Oh, what Michael. happened? You did yeah, so good, and then you turn, You snapped a little bit, huh? Just kidding, dude. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love Pat Reagan. Dude, I just watched you put your ass in some dude's nose on the Air Contra show. <laughs> wow. Okay. Michael. Uh, you know His we're bare so- ass. His bare naked ass. Michael. Michael. Dude's nose. Michael, hey. you know we're still on the air, right? Sure. Sure. It's like a whole still a crowd in front of you and everything. Sure, sure. Uh, so, okay, so I'm in Helen Keller vs. Nightwolves, and the movie I came to film this week is called Range 15. Uh, it was funded by military veterans. Uh, you want to you get a little list of who's, who's, who's with me movie? on both movies? Yeah. 
Uh, we got William Shatner in Range 15. We got Danny Trejo. We got Dale Dye. We got... Dale Jim Dye, wait a second. You went to gay porn stars real quick. Uh, who is that? Dale Dye was a general in, in uh, Saving Private Ryan. Oh, okay. He plays the president in Range 15. We got Jim O'Hare from Parks and Rec. We got Richard Reilly. I have dialogue with Richard Reilly from Office Space. Uh, you know, he's the jump to conclusions guy. I'm a people person, god damn it! What's wrong with you guys? But yeah, yeah, that's the giant lesbian horn, everybody. Uh, you know it and you love it. Anytime there's a giant lesbian on this show. I love this show. That. There it is. Oh. This show is so great. It's not going anywhere. The only thing that can kill Tony is his T-cell count. Oh, oh, you tried it again. Oh, he's saying you got he's, AIDS. Oh, you he's son of a you bitch. A yeah, he always tries to do this. <laughs> Every time you get on the show, you always start a little roast battle, and then you're crying to me afterwards. You come crying. <laughs> I'm just happy you had me on, man. It's, it's a fucking pleasure to be here. Uh, now, Still don't like him. Now, God uh, damn it. No, that's interesting. There, you're now, just going through a range of have, emotions. I see that you have a lot of writing on your hand. Are those jokes or just recipes? Oh, no, I've got a... <laughs> you want to do this, Michael Perkinson? You want to do this? Yeah, throw off your glasses. Piece of fucking shit. You're not, we... <laughs> you look like Steve Buscemi's lesbian sister. That doesn't even make sense. And how dare you owe that? I already lesbian him. You can't double lesbian that scissoring, okay? Everybody knows that. You can't lesbian a lesbian. Michael fucking Perkins. God damn it! How dare you? Bish. <laughs> Laughter, tears, anger. You're real you're really fucking something else for always talking shit. You know that, Michael Perkins? God damn it, you are too, man. What what do you do for fun? What's your what's your crazy fucking fucking right now? I'm just blacking out drinking. What's your fetish other than pudding? Uh, what? What's My, your second biggest fetish to pudding? Pudding? Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like I like watching uh I like watching look I like I like watching porn where chicks like each other's assholes. Really? Yeah. That's your, that's yeah. your shit. There's some kind of commitment to that, right? <laughs> All of his toes look like thumbs. That is true. It is interesting. It's pretty. I think it's. I think. Did you think they're, everyone they're all, they're was gonna? They're all opposable. They're opposing. Do you think uh, everyone was gonna start applauding you, with you? You look like me if my mom was a midget. <laughs> That's an accurate statement, guys. Give it to him. Yeah. How you, how you doing, Tony, man? What's up? I'm What's doing good? Great. Life is good. The real question is, what have you been up to? You left us because you had the gout. Now you're back. What's going on? You live in L.A. again? No, I'm, I'm not here, but I'm coming back soon. I'm, I just got to get a little bit of capital. Uh, <laughs> what happened with uh, what happened with you and Doug Benson? We had Doug Benson on here, and he said something really horrific happened. And oh, uh, do we, we want to go there? Yeah. yeah what happened? Let's go. Well, I mean, yeah, okay, look, I, I I was the beta tester for the brownies that we cooked in celebration of the idea of Doug Benson. He's a stoner, right? You're the brownie taster? I took the first brownie, and let me tell you, that brownie was way too fucking potent. And I went out, and I fucking charged it. I sold a quarter of his tickets. And then I went out in the crowd and I sat out there. Wait a second, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Absolutely sold a quarter of a stick. It pissed him off. It pissed him off. Yeah, no, no. Was I incoherent? Yes. Was I fun? Sure. Who gives a fuck? I wasn't that funny. But I'll tell you this. Uh, when I'm sitting when you're sitting in the crowd in front wait of Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Wait. You mean to tell me that <laughs> one brownie fucked you up this no time? i ate fucking three they were muffins i ate three untested muffins tony unbelievable how three much, untested muffins how much do you weigh fucking one 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 no. yeah right. <laughs> one the only word that could follow that is ton brother oh <laughs> <Jesus Christ. laughs> probably too i sick. weigh one elephant <laughs> 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 I don't know about 270. I don't know. Man. Fuck yeah, 275. 265. Oh, we we just so happen to have a weight carnival guest <laughs> in the corner. He says he said, 265. He said but, 265. But, but, but uh, I'm gonna tell you uh, <laughs> what honest, What crushed me was I went out. I went out to watch him. You know, it's first off, it's tough when someone opens their set with 15 minutes worth of tweets. Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't hate on Doug Benson. Well, so, they, uh, you went there. I told you I didn't want to talk about it. Jeez, so I go, so I sit in the crowd, and he goes, "All oh, y'all came out to see this guy's stupid set," and I'm sitting like third row, looking right at him, and he's like, "Where is he? Oh, right there! Oh shit!" And just, I was like, "Wow!" Jeez, I can't believe you're hating on Doug Benson. Just like with everything else, I'm guessing you're gonna eat those words. Why do you uh, think he's stick? 
Why do you think he's sticking around your show more than he's sticking around his? Let's just talk about oh. that. Michael, please stop. That, that, pi- that I, think pig- he, I think he's booked for next week, so please stop what you're doing. Uh, he's we a love piggybacker. He's here. a piggybacker, that Doug Benson. Well, um, if, he got on, if he got on your back, then he's a piggybacker, Michael Perkinson. Uh, <laughs> you fucking monster. Yeah, pull your fucking sleeves back down. <laughs> Fucking always dress like you're going to like some nude beach or something like that's like what you wear to it, right? Jesus Christ! You, you look, look like the kind of guy that would actually do that too. You have that kind of creepy fucking filmmaker head or something. You have like Michael Moore body. <laughs> you know what are you into documentaries and shit? You look like that alien from American Dad. <laughs> well, it, you look it, like that alien. Would you would you like to <laughs> would you like to do a PowerPoint and show me? Give me, give me some! Don't let him overrun me! Give me something! Here Fuck we yeah, are! The, the fat <laughs> people all of your back. It's so exciting to watch. Those fat hands all clapping together. It almost sounds like more than three fat guys, but nope, just three fat hands clapping together. <sighs> Michael Perkinson, what's your favorite food? Fucking everything? What the fuck? Man. <laughs> like, what isn't my favorite food? What'd you eat food? today? Today? Nothing. You know why? Because I ate a whole pizza around 4 o'clock this morning. <laughs> Yeah, Big Mama's and Papa's Pizza. It was a meatball and garlic, two for twenty six ninety nine. Fucking delicious. Plug it. Count it. I like the whole pizza. Whole I had a whole I had a whole pizza last night, so I haven't had anything. I had some beers, hanging out, you know, <laughs> trying to find somewhere cool to jerk off. I just can't find any privacy. Well, how could anything. you? Where do you live? I live. Uh, I don't live on the couch, and I don't live anywhere here. But I was on this guy's couch, and there's fucking five of us here. It's fucking. So I got another dude on the couch, another dude in the living room. How many? Dude. So you guys like just spooned on the couch or laid on top of each other? No, I'm the mattress. They just lay on top of me and try to avoid my boner. My well, boner separates two people. What's really? Is it like you phone? and is it you and like Danny Trejo and the guy from Office Space? <laughs> yeah. All just chilling out on the couch. Huh? And they just watch you up. Low blood sugar attacks every half an hour, <laughs> something like that. Yes. Uh, yeah, exactly. Man, such a range of, of emotions, though. I uh, can't, it, I can't get over it. you. Literally, cha- like when it, when you laugh, you sound like you're gonna cry. And then you get. When you laugh, you sound like a trust fund. So if, I don't know what to say. Oh God. Oof, wow. Jesus. Jesus. Is that what you? <laughs> you had that waiting on me. I was, I was just hammering it until I went for that one. Oh, the price is fat. Um. I don't the know price what that is means. fried. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh, hey, I would have danced, by the way. Where, where's that? Uh, he's gone. He should have danced. He should have danced. I hope you dance. If you get the chance to fucking dance up here, fucking throw a mic through the roof. Do something fun. Dance. Come on. Hey, hey, we got we got a song for you. You guys really want to see this? I love that he just set up his own da- dance solo for some reason here. Oh my God, Michael. All right. Oh, oh, the sandals are off. Athlete's foot for all the rest of the oh. comedians. Oh, oh, he's doing the, he's doing the Twinkie. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. It's already smelling like 250 pounds up here. Right. Oh. Oh, he's jumping the licorice rope, everybody. Uh, everything he does is food-oriented dance. Uh... Fuck yeah. It just gave me a concussion somehow. I've had over like 20 concussions in my life, Tony. A lot of concussions. Did you hit your head on something? No, I just landed hard. That's why I wear the... That's why I wear the soft sandals. Yeah. That was All a right. lot. That Michael, was a lot. Tony. You're, it's, I, I literally used you to anchor this show. Uh, Did it work? Did it work? It really... It, it was okay. No, don't, of, ex, don't give me the outro without him saying it. Like, stop it. Like, Everybody, stop. I'm going to I'm gonna be honest. Like your blood pressure, there was a lot of highs and a lot of lows. Uh, and uh, But in the end, it was worth it. Michael Perkinson, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right, that's it. We did a live show. That's how it works. Thank you to at Josh Martin Comic. He's running around doing everything for us. Ali Makovsky, Melissa Esslinger. Here's our drawing from Ryan J. E. Belt. This all happened. <laughs> oh my God, the Bitch Boys, everybody. <laughs> That's the moment that stuck out. Ryan J. E. Belt nailing it. 
Uh, check out all of his work at RyanJEbelt.com uh, and on Instagram and on Twitter. He's now selling these prints, uh, his drawings from all the shows. Check us out at DeathSquad.tv, TonyHinchcliffe.com. Pat Reagan's Patty Reagan on Twitter, P-A-T-T-Y-R-E-G-A-N. Sherman's Gourmet Edibles. Pat, anything else? Nope. Sandro Yocolano is Sandro Yocolano on Twitter, S-A-N-D-R-O-I-O-C-O-L-A-N-O. Yeah. And Andrew Santino. So much fun. The Cheeto. The Cheeto Santino. Any other dates coming up or anything you guys want to promote? No, these people are barely here anymore. Great. <laughs> no, it's to the podcast. Listening. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Watch my Over a- special on uh, November 27th. Oh, that's great. November yeah. 27th. What's it yeah. called? Uh, uh, it's just me. November 27th, yeah. Comedy Central, the Andrew Santino one-hour special. Brian Redband. Hey, we're going to be in Columbus, Ohio, and Pittsburgh Thanksgiving yeah. weekend. Go to DeskWad.tv, click on tour dates. And I'm in Portland, Sacramento, San Francisco, Atlanta, and some other places. Stay tuned for all that. And get your weed quick at Speedweed.